cobbled queen with visions of a world made new in fire and rage. Driven by prophecy, she has filled her followers with the raging passion of her cause. Now, you step forth into her burning realm. Dark shapes move among the rising embers. Thick-skinned beasts belch gouts of fire. It's an ambush! Roll for initiative. Battle is about to commence. Epic Encounters. Turn your RPG up to 11. Very well, thank you. Hello. Great. Ready. Good, to see, good to see you all. I'm not sure we're getting any sound on Switch. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. It's, it's, it might be Dave. I think. Yes, it's just, it's just Dave. Yeah. Do that then. Just Dave, because do, 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 he has do. such a sexy voice. There we are. <laughs> it is the sexiest of voices. It is. I was just about to say. It's all sad. The softest of hands. Yeah. So, all right. good. All good. Yeah. There we go. So we just tested well, it out. Hello. We we'll do this again. Take two. <laughs> um, hello. Welcome to Band of Badgers. I am Dave, your GM for this evening. You probably just saw me go. But yeah, yeah, it is me. And this is Epic Encounters by Steamforged. Um, this is our first time doing one of these. Uh, we haven't really done one of these before. So uh, bear with us as we kind of get to get our players into the swing of things. And of course, mentioning players, these are my players. We'll do this bit again. How are you doing, players, this time? Take two. Hello. We're, we're, we're Hello. Very well, thank you. Ready to die. <laughs> Very ready, ready to die. To ready to rock. Today is a good day to die. <laughs> Today is a very good day to die. Um, but you might not. You might survive. You might be the only one to survive. But we have a new face with us. Hello, Nick. How are you doing? I'm very well. How's it going, there? I'm all right. How are you? Should we just like, yeah? Yeah, I am <laughs> good. Man, I'm you now teeny tiny, a little bit terrified, but you know, like a duck, everything's <laughs> calm above, but the, the you know below the surface, feet going like the clippers, or flappers, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> fair, fair. whatever ducks do, you know. So. Uh, I'm going to thank the players for being here. This, again, this is the first time I've, I've dropped them uh, in at the deep end a little bit. This is uh, kind of uh, not exactly last minute, but very kind of rushed to kind of put this together. So again, thank you players for, for experimenting with this. But most of all, thank you to, to you for watching. Um, thank you for joining us. Now, if you didn't know, Band of Badgers, we support writers, artists, designers and creators, uh, large and small from all across the world. So if you would like to come and uh, basically join the band, all you have to do is get in touch. Yeah, and you'll find some details below. And also, if you would like to support us, you can by using Twitch Prime subscriptions. And of course, we have our Patreon, all of which will come up in our link tree. And you'll find that if you're watching on Twitch, you'll find it in the live chat. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll see it in the box uh, below this and also in the episode description. Now, as a reminder, um, as I just said, you can find all of our content on youtube.com slash band of badgers. So please do subscribe. Uh, like our videos and also hit that bell so you see all the latest and cool stuff that we do it all goes on there at some point eventually when we get around to doing it but um right we're gonna again we haven't really um done one of these but we're just gonna a little bit talk about it so this is what we're playing this is epic encounters uh from steamforged this we're gonna be playing shrine of the cobalt queen now if you haven't seen one of these do um, check them out. You'll find that there's a link in live chat for you there. Um, but this gives you everything you need. Inside are 20 miniatures. There's a double-sided game map. There's Adventurer's Book, which is this. It's kind of like comic size with all the adventure in there. Um, it has all the monster stats, the whole adventure. Everything is mapped out. And the best bit, it gives you tips and tricks and tactics for how to defeat your players. 
<laughs> and that's what we want to do. So this is, this you is mean that's we, what you want to do? That's what I want to do. Oh. Wow. And it, this is not a TPK in the box, that. but it kind of comes close. So uh, mm. all we can do is is hope. This is the GM's dream. Yeah. Yes. Hope, hope for the best. Revenge. She doesn't even have to pretend like there's a story associated with this. There's it's no just a full on it's war. Just, Us versus start, him. Yes. This is yeah. this is chess. This is tactical gaming with D and D rules, uh, five edition rules. But anyway, do check that out. Um, check these out. There's a whole series of them now. Uh, the um, just just watch this, and if you like it, go out and buy it. Um, because it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> or else. Dave is really looking forward to this. Yeah. Yes. Far so, too much. Because we haven't done this before, we're going to kind of slowly kind of warm up in, into this. What I'm going to do is go around the table, and what I'd like the players to do is just uh, introduce your characters. Um, what, what's their name? Who are they? What, what drives them? Why are they an expender badger? Okay, so let's start with Steve. Who's playing Hogan? Yes, I'm playing Hogan, and Hogan is. Uh, I'm gonna go as far as saying he's he's the leader of the, of the crew. Um, he will organise the jobs, get these jobs in. We're trying to start up this uh, bounty hunter slash mercenary business, adventurous to hire, and um, he will get the get the jobs in, organise the team, pick from a a selection of characters and we'll we'll go off and do the job and the idea to do the job as quickly as possible get paid get rewarded build build the business up that's what we're looking for he's ex-military um he likes to do just things and help people out but getting paid for them is uh he's good as well so he may take the odd job uh like pro bono i suppose uh, do something for free or do something for for, for low cost to help people out who are, who are in need but uh, <laughs> the rich people, he's he's gonna he's gonna try and take take to the cleaners. He's he's tall. He's um, slimish build, sort of CrossFit rather than weightlifter. He's got a heavily scarred face on left hand side uh, from a from a previous wound, and his main weapon is the bow. He is a sharpshooter. He can take uh take the eye out of that at 600 yards that's his specialty but you don't mind getting in um down and dirty at the same time he's a ranger by trade so he's got a few spells up his sleeve and his forte is arranging a good ambush cool let's move on jen annie uh, yes, I am playing Annie Oakleaf. Uh, she is an uh, elf swashbuckler style. She has the beautiful hat that she likes to make sure stays on her head at all times. Um, she uses a crossbow uh, and she likes staying away from things as much as possible. So she might be jumping around a bit. Maybe. Cool. Let's go to Jeff, who's playing Thorum. Ah, oh, yes, I am playing Thoron Gil Lightbearer, who is an Asimar Paladin. Um, he's actually been in this world for 80 plus years already. Um, he came into existence with the idea in mind that he wanted to vanquish all evil from the world. But through the years, he's become a little bit jaded. Um, not as in he's turned away from the light, but as in he's realised that he's not going to be able to vanquish all the evil on the world because it's just too much of it. So he at some point decided that he might as well make a few coin while he's uh, doing the vanquishing. So he reached out to Hogan and uh, joined his ragtag bunch Motley crew. Um, he is six foot six tall. He's fairly well built. He has long flowing golden hair, beautiful blue eyes, and um, he's rather handsome, uh, but he doesn't brag about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's humble. Okay. Yeah, unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick, who is Hadil? Well, um, Hadil, how to describe him? Seven foot tall, bright, bright golden dragonborn, glorious, absolutely stunning, stunning and beautiful. 
and of course is a rogue so generally good at not being seen which everyone says is always a weird one for someone who's seven foot tall and gold um, and has a tail which is probably more manipulative than my own hands so things will disappear around me and people will find things stuck in them i'm not my not my fault <laughs> the hand is thinking for itself or something i don't know or maybe i'm thinking it's just yeah. <clears throat> we shall see <laughs> i'm in it for the money oh and hogan pays just, just <laughs> as long as we get paid, we're here. That sounds like an excellent fan, family movie, Hogan Pays. <laughs> I think you might need to lower your expectations just a tad. Right. And finally, Sean, who is Brion? Brion Thunderpelt is a bad kitty. He's a Leonin and he is a barbarian uh, chosen to berserk a path. Um, unstable, violent. Not very sharp, about as sharp as a rock. Um, but he is loyal to Hogan's crew. He's been a bit of a constant on the jobs. And when he's not on a job, he's often sleeping around, you know, just trying to... Oh! Oh! <laughs> bit of a slip there. You can find him sleeping in the, uh, in the, in the base of operations, is what I mean. Um, yeah, he lives for action and violent combat. And Hogan gets the juiciest jobs. So he's hanging around as long as the work's coming in. Cool. Right. Awesome. Um, I'm also going to let the audience know who are watching on Twitch. You may also see a D&D &D Beyond logo symbol tab thing floating around. If you click on that, um, and this is only if you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, watch us on Twitch. Um, but thank you for watching us anyway. Um, the, the, the tab will pull out and you can see all of our player characters on there live as as they die. Um, so stay tuned for that. Maybe we have like fireworks go off when they explode. Who knows? Let's find out. So is everybody ready? Are we done? Are we ready to um, to have play an action game? Yes. Yeah. 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 Is, is, is the wait a the delay. shirt <laughs> with multiple colored kobolds so I can pick. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, right. Steve, I'm going to let you do the introduction because you are the uh, the boss of the Expender Badgers. So it's it's over to you. Thank you. <sighs> okay, team. I've had news of a job. I'm afraid that well, this one may not pay as much as you are used to normally but that's okay that's okay you know we're we're still building the business as long as it covers expenses that's good what i have managed to uh negotiate if you will is that oh sorry one second i've just had these new things installed one second oh, oh, let me just take this call hello Yes, you have reached Hogan's unionized network of trusted encounter resolution specialists. Our specialists are forged in the steam of the gods' own foundry and are ready and waiting to deal with all of your encounters, epic or otherwise. Remember, if you can find us, then you can hire the hunters. This is Hogan speaking. How may I address your school? Yes. Yes. Well, we did have another job, but that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Scratch that. Rumour has it there's some firebrand kobolds. These are strange and cowardly creatures attacking in great numbers. There's some local farmers are, well, run into a bit of a pickle. They're using their greater numbers and low cunning to overwhelm any... Uh, resistance that the farmers put up. This is even, even lower price, I'm afraid, so steal yourselves. We've been offered 250 gold pieces to go and investigate. However, there are rumours of a dragon in the area. Some nearby towns have been complaining that uh, these organised kobold raids are getting more organised. Kobolds have captured and interrogated a number of villagers, and upon their return, they've 
babbled stories of a messiah, a queen, who offers them visions of land which the kobolds will one day call their own. All they must do, she says, is drive off the other settlers, putting any holdouts to the sword and their homes to the torch. More and more news of these kobolds, more and more news says that these kobolds flock to hear her speak, to hear of a world made new. Made, the queen insists, in the image of a dragon. So, I figured that sounds like more of a prospect job. Okay, we go in for a low price. Like I say, it covers our expenses, but if it truly is a dragon, then we might reap rich off of the, the loot that we recover. And that is all our own. Never killed a dragon. Hmm. Mm. I like it. Jump me in. Huzzah! I'm not doing anything else. Sounds like this could be fun. Yeah. Oh. Okay. For fun so and profit. Only, uh, always profit. It's only a few hours from here. We can uh, mount up. Go lightly armed. Go lightly armoured. Forgo the usual kicking, kitchen sink routine. Get in and out quick. Take down, I guess, the leadership. Take out this queen if we can find her. Or, you know, do enough of her followers in to put off the rest of them congregating. Pick up wherever we can and get back here. We could probably be done inside a day. Won't need to take any rations. Just load up and head out. Let's, Let's go. go. So get in, kill everything, take everything. Love it. Even I can follow that. Simple plans normally work the best. Yes. We can see what the lie land is when we get there. And, uh, well, if we can get in quietly, maybe without a fuss and take them on two flanks, that's what we'll do. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, let, let's head out. Everyone got their weapons? Always. All oh, sharpened, ready to go. Do you want to quickly explain what everyone is using as you're all kind of different specialists? <laughs> I am uh, using a, a bow um, and arrows, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we, we hope that that is uh, implied, the... yeah. but you may run out. He's only been playing since out. he was 12, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm getting the bow and arrow route. And uh, I also wield a, a short sword, which is tucked into into the gauntlet of uh, of my left arm. And I may have a dagger hidden around me somewhere, uh, but that will remain secret, so you can't use it in evidence against me in the future. Just remember that ammo counts in this game, so you only have 20 arrows. Yes, I do. Same as anyone who has crossbow bolts, you only have 20 crossbow bolts. All accounted for. I only need 20. <laughs> right, so uh, Thorin uses a ginormous uh, great sword, big two-handed sword, uh, called Betsy. And he also has a long sword on his hip called Charity. And he has a uh, heavy crossbow slung over his shoulder and a shield on the other shoulder, just in case he needs to switch it. Okay, Hadil. Ah, I am, well, I'm going to say I, I'm, I'm a, I like a few different weapons. It's always nice, you know, it depends. So I have a crossbow for long range. I have a rapier for a little bit close. And then I have a dagger for very close. And um, all of my weapons are generally called stabby or pointy, depending on which they are. Cool. Annie? Uh, I also have a crossbow, but mine is a hand crossbow. So mine, mine just is like a little gun. She really likes that. Plus a rapier, uh, a couple axes, and daggers. And She's well armed. <laughs> that, 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 that's good. Oh, hold on. What's that? Oh, sorry. Tail just reminded me. I also have a bow lass as well. You know. <laughs> People always tripping. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> Brown? 
a giant morning star, which is like a mace on a mace of that chain. It's a big spiky ball on the end of a stick. That's Brown. That's all he's got. Oh, I suppose he has his claws as well. But yeah. okay, so everybody ready? Aye. Okay, so you you've travelled on, and you've come to the location of the Cobold encampment. You can see um, there's a storm. In my games, there's always a storm fast approaching. There's a storm fast approaching. Because <laughs> it, it's, it's fantastic because it hinders your everything. So it's going to be on you in a matter of minutes. You can see a number of what look like to be tents, a few kind of campfires, smoke pillars coming up, that kind of thing. Okay. What would you like to do? Is there any kobold guards in view? Uh, anyone wandering around the camp? You can form, if you're just kind of waiting to see what happens, you get kind of a small vantage point. Yes, you can see uh, two kobolds that seem to be um, riding what appear to be giant snakes. And they, uh, they kind of crisscross as they circle the, the encampment. The encampment is in uh, a corner of a mountainside. Okay, so two sides are covered by sheer cliff. The other two are open to the forest and woodlands, the plains. Okay, and these kobold, kobolds on snakes are basically they're cr crisscrossing uh, those, those kind of bits and pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're they're, they're walking a. Uh... Patrol route. A, a, a patrol, go route. Up, a patrol route. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, they're walking it, a patrol route. Um... It's not exactly you know well done. They go backwards no. and forwards and backwards and forwards. It's not exactly t they don't cross at the same point. Every now and then they stop to chat or you know they might shoot a rat or something like that or someone else comes to us. You do see a few kobolds um, seemingly hanging around. You also see kobolds going in and out various tents. So they kind of look like these round. Um, Typical round tented things. You've got supports and structures on the outside. From your, from where you are, you're from the south of the position. You see uh, a tent flap open up almost south. The rest of them, they go round the corner and then they seemingly disappear. Okay, visibility is getting is getting quite small. Uh, but you do seem to see what looks to be, let's say, cobalt made figurine of a dragon. In the middle of the encampment. Mm. Okay. Is right. it possible to? Is there anywhere to sneak, hide in shadows, or anything to hop up onto one of the tent yurt things? This is exactly what I was just thinking. <sighs> you could, Would you, it take you your weight to get close enough? If if Annie is going to go. Uh, literally rogue straight away you can go up to that point okay so, so mm. I'll show you what you do see on the map you see um there's one of the snake things let's take one of the other snake things it's like over there and um, you can see there's the, the tent flap and you see another kind of these are all included in that epic encounters thing yes you get 20 cool, in, awesome. in the box. <laughs> that is fabulous. So Sorry, I'll, I'll I... switch. Um, what I'll do <laughs> is I'll switch cameras for our viewers because they, they can't actually see that bit. But bear with me because we have to push a few buttons to do that first. It's not going to be pretty. So we're going to do this, then we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. And there we go. And it worked. <laughs> cool. Now, if I wasn't such a goody two-shoes, I might suggest we wait until they go into their tents and we shoot them with flaming arrows and watch them all burn. <laughs> I like this idea. We can, we can do that to create a distraction. Or... Sounds good to me. Distraction. We're coming from the very bottom we're from the of... very bottom, the south is over here. So you will, you will be approaching from... Oops, sorry, couple. From this direction. Okay, oh, okay. So I was looking at the other edge. The, Dave, are the, uh, the left tents? Side of the are, are the tents at all made of a material whereby, if there's a small fire in the middle of them, we can see the silhouettes of whoever might be in there? 
The the tents are made up of various levers and furs from your from the. All right, so it's dark. It's, yeah, it's so we from, can yeah. probably see light coming through little slits and stuff, but not yeah. as in it's not shining through like a canvas. Plus, the storm that's coming over is heavy rain. Um, yeah. Really dark clouds, so visibility is quite poor now. You are now starting to get drenched as the water is just uh, the rainwater is just hitting. Excellent. You. Stand under the How nearest like tree. This. And in the shadow of the nearest tree. <laughs> Just wondering, looking at what I'm seeing in front of me, is there any of these tents, because there's a few of them you've described, is any of them look like it's very heavily guarded? Like, which is the one that's got the good stuff in or slash <laughs> well, stuff? from where you are positioned, you can only see this one and this one. They have a okay. guard standing outside each one. Are those barrels on the side that I could hide behind and sneak around to there the are, back all, of the tent? Yes, there's all manner of bits and pieces here. So you've got barrels, you've got sacks of grain, there's a wood chopper's log. There's all different bits and pieces. Now, obviously, um, we would see that if we were sitting around a table, we would see that in more detail, but we're not. Yeah. So. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, is this that? Oh, <laughs> I need new glasses. <laughs> Um, uh, so if I can, I will. Sorry, Jane. Uh, no, no, no yeah, sorry. If I can, I'll, I'll just sneak around. The west. Okay, and so it's I have, I have here a suggestion. You, you took it off. Yeah, you know. I, I, I have a suggestion. We sneak round the camp uh, from the south side to the west side. We come in with the weather, and I cover our uh, approach into the camp using fog cloud. Ooh. Sounds good. Sounds would, good to me. Would that be, uh, would, Hogan, would that be blown along with the wind from the weather? That's what I'm hoping, yes. Mm. And then and then we can move slowly into the centre of the camp. Once we're in the centre of the camp, we have two choices. We can try and find the leader's tent, or we set Brown loose to cause as much noise as possible. Thank you. Or as many kobolds as possible, while the rest of us try and flank them. Mm. Huzzah! Sounds like a good plan. Flanking is awesome. Good. Let's now, do it! Has anyone got any torches? Uh, I can cast light. I don't need one. My rapier is moon touched. Um, and also, yes, I, I don't need one. I could see in the dark. I can also <laughs> see in the dark. <laughs> so if you cannot see in the dark, I could cast light no, no, no. on something for you. It's, it's not about seeing. It was more about uh, a, a source of ignition. So, ah, right, yes. Um, no, I was told to take track. everything off of my inventory, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I see why Dave said that. It was to screw us up. <laughs> Boss, I am a source of ignition. Hi, Dragon. Yeah, good point, good point. I, and so, I did say you can keep one torch, just not ten. <laughs> okay, so once we're in the centre of the camp, um, we, we try and find the leader's tent. If we can, we go for the leader's tent, try and take the, the leader out as quickly as possible. If not, Brayon, you do what you do best, which is create chaos. You got and it. Hadil, set fire to the nearest thing. Preferably the dragon effigy, because I think if we were to destroy that, a lot of the kobolds may be distracted. Hmm. Could. How hard is it raining? <laughs> It's it's really rain. heavy rain, boss. It's starting to slow. Yeah. Like the visibility is is poor at best, but the ground is turning to mud under your feet. Ugh. Ugh, it's ruining my boots. Yeah. Ugh. Your hat is then. <laughs> the poor feather. It's, it's like it's losing its fluffiness. Hogan, give it a nod. Let's go. Let's Boss, go. Quick question. Yeah. Can somebody that dragon effigy in some way attract everybody? Like all oh, the kobolds. So? I'm just some way to attract them to it because then I can make a very big bang. Uh, I, I don't have any way to attract them to it, no. Mm, okay. I think no setting way. it on fire might attract them to it. Yeah. Where is that? Everybody go, please. 
There's a, let's go. There, let's go. There, let's go. There's a small chance that Haddle could just walk in there and they'd start worshipping him, to be honest. <laughs> See, it is. He is a dragon dawn. Golden dragon. Hmm. <laughs> But if you walked in there and, and act like you own the place, they probably would just bow down before you. Hmm. It's a, it's a possibility. Walk in, flame the statue, give him the jazz hands. I don't know. Yes. I always find jazz hands work good. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> Open his call, I guess. Hey. You go west. Yep. I'll cast Fog Cloud. Uh, we'll move in with the fog cloud, try and get as close to the statue as we can. Scope out the leader's tent if we can. Uh, if not, I'll give the word. Brown, you cause chaos, and Hadil, you set fire to the effigy. And then, if they do flock to the effigy, by all means, make it go bang. <laughs> this might be my favourite plan we've ever come up with. <laughs> I like plans better when they don't ruin my. But let's go. Okay. okay. Everybody ready? Yes. Right. So from this moment on, we're going to be entering the encampment. Yeah? Everybody understand? Yeah. We'll be rolling mm -hmm. for initiative, and then everything is now done on the map. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you're all basically going in, and away we go. So I'm going to switch my screens over again. Um, Audience, bear with me. Boom, 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 boom. Ta da! There we go. So, also, what I want to do is. Where's my other screen? Where's my other screen? There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, can everybody please roll initiative? Roll oh, initiative. Now we're using D&D &D Beyond for dice rolls, so you won't see us rolling any Oops. dice, we have a game log, um, but you won't be able to see that oh. either. If you're watching on Twitch, you've got the D&D &D Beyond icon, you can flip that out and you can see all of our characters there. Right, so, let's... Do, 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 do. So, Brion, you got a 12, correct? Yeah. Oh. No, I, got, I, I also got a 12. A deal yeah. got a 12. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, and, and again, we're using D&D &D Beyond Encounters um, for the first time. Uh, Thoron, you got a 15. I did. Well done. I rolled a 15 on an invisible dice in my head. <laughs> and Annie, you got 16. And Hogan, where are you? 14. 14. 1, 4. A 14. Oh, yeah, there. And a 14, okay, let's see. Very close. Oh, this works. Okay. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Mm. Mm, I say. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, right. So, first up is Annie. Uh, How's your approach? Thought... You're approaching from the far side on the map. Which, which yeah, bit? Yeah, so whatever way we were supposed to be approaching, I. Well, it was a little too much theater of the mind for me to figure out, well, mostly because I don't do well with south, north, east, any, any and west any directions. Any where you're coming from. Okay. Along the this back. Yeah. So where did you want to come in from? <gasps> Wherever the leader said for us to come in. This is your, you're, you are now in control okay. of you. Okay, so you've okay. all split off and done your thing. Where are you going? Where on the map uh, do you want to appear? The, um, the left back, side, the, right side, the, middle. the right side, right side, as okay. you're looking at it, yeah. Over here, so you can see there's a there's a, a I don't... thing here. Lots of smoke is coming out of it. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put you there. <sighs> Who is next? Thorin. Uh, I am going to be. Um, assuming it was that side that we're going in, I want to go in from the middle-ish, just behind that shack. That's I assume that's a shack. No, go to your right. Yeah, this. Yeah, this down same, a bit. This is the same thing that Annie's coming to. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, that'll do. Okay. So again, you can. Uh, there's a faint smell of sulphur. From from you're behind this ramshackle building. Can I see that? Whatever that is, it's a snake, isn't it, or something? You need to do me more than that. You need to explain the the one at the top of the board. Up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a patrol snake. Can I see see that patrol snake from where I'm, or is that something in the way there? No, you can see it. Right, is it seeing me yet? Not yet. Right, I will, um, as best I can, take cover behind that shack type thing. So I'll be looking for any boxes behind it or whatever. So that's behind it. Oh, okay. There's there's nothing on the other side of it where I was, no, to hide behind. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, oh, that's better. Yeah, I can see it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'll be hiding behind there as well. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're and I will ready. I will ready uh, my crossbow, and if anything looks like it spots us, I'm going to shoot at it. Okay. What? What was that, Dave? What was what? What? You said my character's name. What? No. I oh, it's where. Foreign is now with Annie. You two are together. Oh, okay. Yes. Yep. And do I need to roll stealth or anything for oh, yeah. being hidden? Okay. You're both, you're both there. From your vantage point, you can now see uh, there's another cobalt. Okay. Right. Let's try Hogan. You're up. Okay, I'm gonna sneak in in the gap between the ramshackle building and the and the round tent. You mean here? That's it. Perfect. Now that ramshackle building where the sulphurous stench is coming from. Yep. Is that smoke coming out of a chimney? Not a chimney. But at the moment, your vision is blocked by sheets of leather. You're at the okay. back of a. You're at the back of whatever this is. But it, okay, so is it a uh, it's a tent rather than a, a building? It's not it's a building. Maybe. It is some kind of tent ramshackle thing. Until you get round uh, to the front, okay. you can't really tell what it is. It could be a market stall. Selling fresh vegetables. Yeah. Uh, can I can I move again, or is that no? Is that we'll just put people in position first. Okay. I'll I'll. I'll I'll hang on that corner so I can keep an eye on the snake patrol. Okay. And I'll wait for Brion and Hadil to catch up with me. Okay, Brion, you're next. Um, waiting the nod from Hogan, so I am going to try and be close to him. For the near shot uh, between the ramshackle building and the round tent in the middle, please. Okay, so you basically you're you're not going to be on the board. If you want to be in earshot, you're still going to be kind of waiting in the bushes. Does that work for our plan, or if if that's where you want to be, this is this is your decision. No, okay, I should be ready. I will take one of the squares, uh, spaced one away from Hogan, towards the round tent, okay. so I'm on the board. So you're here. Okay. Here we go. And Hadil. Hmm. So the effigy is the large thing I can see in the middle, isn't it? The effigy that you saw from the south is here. Yeah. So that that tent with the cobalt next to it. I'm going to see. It looks nice and shadowy on the south side. The right hand side, go all the way across. Oh. That one there. Just below your pen, that looks yeah. nice and shadowy there, and that looks like somewhere where I could get a little bit closer to that for having some fun. Okay. It is gonna so take I'm going to sneak it's around gonna take... the back of that tent very tentatively to see, yeah, you know, get an eyeball if there's anyone in front of it, well, or you, even you, looking at the you're, side you're of it. Blocked. So you have to come from this side. So I have to come from that side. Yeah. So they will come this way. Okay. Now, for you to get from from over there. To here it's going to take at least two turns. So right no. now you just need to be where's your starting position? You can start down here. Yeah. You can start down here and down this side. No, I think I'd be um, somewhere around the smoky shack thing. Okay, so I'm just sort of hanging back. Yep, yeah. hanging back somewhere shadowy. Do you want to go with Hogan or with Foreign? 
I'd probably go with Hogan. So I'd be basically stood to the sort of right into the shadows there, so there you go. anyone's looking, I'm going to see them, but they're not going to see me. Yep. Okay. Right. Now, let's try that again. So, Annie, you are in position. In front of you is this ramshackle tent. There's lots of holes and the, the lever is just kind of peeling off in the wind and the rain. Every now and then there's a crack of uh, thunder and lightning. The mud around you is getting deep. You are getting drenched in this rain. But ahead of you, just over here, you can see there's a coal vault standing outside the tent. But this thing in front of you, there's lots of smoke coming out of it. And it smells very sulfurous. What do you wish to do? Um, is there a way to look into the tent? If you want to, yeah. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Uh, well, I need to find a place that... Can I get on top of that, or is that not up? You, you, you tell me what you want to do, and then it happens. But I, I don't know if that's up or not, if the tent is up or if it's just, like, sitting on the ground. No, the tent, the tent is, 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 is up. It's a ramshackle building, six foot in front of you. Okay, yeah, no, I'll jump up on top of it. Okay. On so, the, like, back side of it. On the corner, yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'll hook my one hand in on the pole and like swing myself up over it yeah so and land very softly it's it's very softly as you land on top you realize there's no support structure so you're now but you're okay it's not ripping yet then you realize that the the levers that you thought this thing was made out of are a mixture of levers furs cobalt hide and what appears to be human skin the so as you've got a better view from on top, you can see what's down below, and it seems to be some kind of forge. In a bucket to the side, um, although, it's, uh, although it's heavily raining, there appears to be a trowel full of what you would think might be lava. And as the rain is hitting it, it's just spitting, tss, 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 which means it's making more and more fog. Underneath is a small fire, probably just keeping this lava heated but then as you get a whiff of this kind of sulfur smell you start to feel a bit funny oh no can you do a constitution saving throw please i can 20 dirty 20 no that's fine yeah you passed uh, you as you inhale it it's kind of like um it's sulfur with a mix of eggs rotten eggs and you, you stop yourself from you stop yourself from heaving a little bit. I'm gonna roll off. Can, do, do I have enough movement to roll off that thing yeah, and not be in that? Roll back smoke. to where you started. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just give it a quick roll off of it, land on her feet, and just like. Whoo. Okay, Thorin, you see her do all of this, and then she mm. just lands back down next to you in in the mud, kind of almost bent over. One hand to her to her mouth, one hand onto the onto the shackle thing, and she's like, <laughs> "You can see she's turning green." There's say, something not right in there. Say, Annie, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? And I, um, I say, it wasn't me this time, Annie. I promise. <laughs> uh, right. So. Uh, Yes, I take it there's something very smelly in that place, so I'm not going to put my head in there. You can't. Um, you know where that kobold is standing in front of the tent there, Dave? Just Obviously, below yeah. us? Yeah. Yeah. Is that on a raised bit, or am I seeing something on the map that I'm that no, I'm mistaken this, for something? This bit is just shadow. Oh, right, it's just shadow. Yeah. Cool, okay. Um, this bit is all, clip, it's all clutter and barrels and all kinds of horrible bits, but this is basically um, what appears to be a forge. Right, okay, so that's where they make their weapons. Yeah, there's a whetstone and bits and pieces like that, and this is a trough hmm. full of lava. Oh, mm. <sighs> interesting. I, I can't remember if we're supposed to be waiting for Hogan's, like, go, go, go signal. 
Well, uh, so that, that was Annie's go. So this is now Thoron's go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically. Um, is that kobold looking in my direction? No, he's, I... he's looking bored as shit. He's, <laughs> so he's, he's, he's digging. He's like, why? Yeah, am is I he in kind the of brain? like? Is he kind of <laughs> leaning on his spear, going? Yeah. yeah. Nothing right, okay. good happens here. Squirt I his will. Toes in the mud. I will uh, put away my uh, crossbow, pull out my greatsword, and I will start moving towards him slowly in the shadowy bits. Okay. Um, but I'll only move to where the edge of that shadow is, okay. if that makes sense. Move, say, into the shadow. Yeah, like something that. like that, yes. Maybe one, one, one di diagonally down right or left. That one? No. Down one or up one? Yeah, that will do. Yeah, there, that will do. To do that, you're also going to pass through the uh, the waft. Can you do a Constitution saving throw for me, please? I certainly will try. Uh, constitution. Uh, oh. A nine. Oh, that is a fail, unfortunately. Um, you basically take a sudden whiff of that and, and realise, oops, you did what Annie did. Um, can you roll a d3 for me, please? Uh, have we even got d3? Uh, sorry, just sorry, a d4. Just do a d4. Be fine. Okay. Well, I could do a d6 and you could just take... You can do that, yeah. One, two is one. Yeah. Three! So three. that would be a two. So, th four. Uh, for the next two rounds you are poisoned so for the next two Okey rounds dokey. you are everything you do is at disadvantage so again like Annie whatever is in this smoke from this lava you are feeling very queasy everything starts to dance around okay, you um, start to go like ooh it's a bit of vertigo and then but yeah okay so I haven't used my action, so yep. what I do is I cast Lesser Restoration on myself and remove the poison effect. Okay. You can do that. And I will hit... Has that done it? Has that done... Yes, it's done it. It's knocked off the spell slot. There you go. So, yeah, I am no longer poisoned. Cool. So, straight away, you feel the effects. But, yeah, this is not good. You okay. cast your spell. Yeah. Just... <gasps> And then I'm better. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, and you're Almost back. not quite. Okay, well that's uh, and that is my go over because I've moved and I've used an action. Yep. Okay, Hogan. Okay, Brion, a deal. I'm going to move to the corner of the tent. I want you two to move to the effigy. And you'll know when to set fire to it on my next action. Okay, we're going to rush in and go for it. Um, Dave, with that, I want to move, hugging the corner of the yurt in the centre, and I want to move round uh, from where I am to the corner that would be at sort of five o'clock on the clock face. So if that yurt was a clock face, I'm going to move to five o'clock. It's very specific. 20. Yeah, perfect. So I, I'm assuming at that point there, yeah. I can see the kobold. Is that... Uh, a correct assumption. Uh, what, this one over there by Jeff? Yes, okay. yes. But you can also see this cobalt. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, uh, okay. I will, um, I'll attack that one instead then. Is that a signal, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I yes. think that's the signal. It's the, oh. I walk round the edge of the Ruinous. thing and go, oh shit, there's a cold one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to attack with my longbow. Yeah, longbow, I am. He's like basically five foot away. <laughs> as long as he's yeah. ten foot, yeah. I think it's all right, isn't it? He's got any movement he's left, Steve. Foot. Foot. I'm ten foot, so I'm just going to shoot him at point <laughs> blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so roll my attack. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. You missed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I missed with a one. <laughs> <laughs> a natural one. Wow. A natural one. 
Fantastic. Yeah, this is why. <laughs> Dave is loving this way too much. So, as you round the tent from your secluded position, you round the tent, you walk basically straight into a cardboard who's like, Ugh? and then you aim fire, <laughs> missing him completely. Yep. He set fire to the effigy of his missed shot. I gotta tell you, as an archer, that's next to impossible. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you want me to do? Because that was a natural one. Um, I'm going to be quite ruthless on you, and I'm going to say your bow breaks. <clears throat> okay. Straight the string away. or the bow? Uh, let's say the string. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, right. Do I get? As a gloom stalker, I get a third attack in the first round of combat. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to step forward, and with the arrow that I didn't fire because my bow, the, the string on the bow snapped, I yeah. want to try and stab it in the kobold's face. He's going to Legolas him. He's going to Legolas him. Go on, Steve, Legolas him. You got this. I'm just going to roll it as a short sword because it's not shooting the bow. Yeah. Obviously, I don't have stabby arrow as an attack in D&D Beyond. Stabby arrow. Oh we my need good stabby arrow, Dean. We need oh stabby my arrows. Good God. <gasps> that is what virtually impossible, missed? surely. No, yes. I've rolled a one. Again. <laughs> That's two ones in a row. <laughs> two ones in a row. No. Fantastic. No, this is worse than Hogan's, Saturday. Hogan's going down. <laughs> <laughs> so the from the Kobold's point of view, you've come running around the corner and he's gone, oh. <laughs> then you've shot him. It's gone right past him. Then you've yeah. run up to him to try to stab him in the face. Someone is <laughs> completely missing him, or maybe yeah. you slipped in the mud. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Samuel Jackson of Cobalt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good to us. Uh, right, so I do have 15 feet of movement left because I have extra movement in the first round of combat. I'm going to. Like. I mean, so you pick I'm yourself just up. Gonna, Oh, can I just roll backwards, please? So I'm roughly behind that cart. So I want to be, be cart between the cart and the sandbags. So I think it's it's about ten feet south of my current position. You mean this? Thing? Ten feet down from it. The, the, yeah, look, yeah. So I want to go to the right hand side of that between that and the sandbags. About there, yeah. One more down, please. Perfect. Okay. That's my go over. <sighs> Okay, it's not quite over. <laughs> okay. So let's let's read okay. that. You've gone around the corner. You've shot. You've missed. The bow breaks. You then decide. I've got the arrow anyway. I'll go for it. You slip in the mud, landing, and then you kind of scoot back to get back around this thing that we, you thought was a, a cart or or something. As you're scooping backwards in the yep. mud and you get some kind of cover, partial cover, you realise that this thing next to you is not a side of a wagon. But it looks like there are all kinds of um, large and, and clearly marked uh, by craftsmen, um, far more skilled than the kobolds, who must use it now. Um, there are all these strange rooms down the side of it. Over the top are new scratches and carvings, which you probably think the kobolds have made. But over the top of it seems to be a lot of red staining. So it's, well, it's like a, a table. It, like kind, it kind of looks like Stack a maybe, official maybe, table. Maybe like a square, kind of rectangle slab, like an altar kind of thing. Okay, so, yeah, an altar. <laughs> an altar. Um, yeah. Sacrificing, then, general partying. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh, God. Don't roll a one, Steve. Uh, it's a 19. Yeah, oh, that's better. That's better. Ooh. That's more like it. As you see, you, you, you can't translate these runes. But you know, you are scared. You are extremely fearful of going near these runes. And you okay, so did I, sorry, did I fail the saving throw then? Uh, no, you passed. Okay. You continue to back up, and you kind of start to clamber on those 
uh, sacks and bits and pieces which are there. Big old block of note. Okay, okay so I, you're now, I, you're, you're I just know. kind of almost feeling exhausted now. Whatever is, what, you know, what is going on with you? <sighs> Brion, you're up. I would like to head towards the effigy uh, as close as I can get. Okay, so you Please. have followed Hogan around. So yeah. 10, 15, 20. What do you want to do? You can see there's Cobalt here, who's just staring in disbelief at this <laughs> human who came round, tried to attack him, floundered, and then ran away. And he's like, mm -hmm. he's buffed up. I'm just chest. gonna. He's got his spear ready. And you start. You can see he's starting to walk towards Hogan. He's, if his attention is on Hogan, I am going to smack him as hard as I can in the side of the head with my morning star as soon as I can get close enough. Okay, yeah, you, you're 20, you can go straight up to him if you want. Yep, uh, he's the boss, he's the one who's going to be paying us, although this job doesn't pay very well. You know, in the interests of my team, I'm going to try and obliterate this kobold. Yeah. If I may. So I'm going to roll the hit. Yep. Okay, it's 14. Is a hit. Roll your damage. Yay! Yay. You Let's see if we can burst this little guy. <laughs> nice. That's what have we got? Okay, well done. I'm just going to sit. Oh. Okay. Right. So you see the the kobold as you come around the corner of the tent, marching onto onto Hogan, with his mm -hmm. spear raised, and you just come around <laughs> with the spiked morning star on a chain, swing a couple <laughs> of times and smack the head, just <laughs> obliterates, <laughs> sending that kobold somewhere, kobold heaven. So you just blew his mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you he, feeling okay? He didn't even see it coming. But you see Hogan, and he looks terrified. He's, the colour is all drained out of his face. Hogan. Hogan. You okay, boss? No reply? Yeah. Either that or he's on mute. Can't tell. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on mute. <laughs> just, just stay away from this thing here. Just m move on, move on to the effigy. And do effigy. Do, but, but don't look at this block. Don't, don't look at this altar thing. It's, uh, there's something. You got it. You got it. So move an attack with both my actions, Dave. I believe. Yeah. So you're done. Yes. I'm done. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hadil. Right then. So the um, the yurt tent that Brion is next to at the moment. I'm just thinking, can I just go straight up on top of it? On the, on this one, the one you're hiding behind. No, not the one I'm hiding behind. On this one. That one. Okay, you want to go on top? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to carefully climb up and make sure that I can. But you know, I'm a little bit of a stealthy sod. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's climb up okay. on top. So, so I'm in the square that's sort of diagonally up from him. Yeah. Can you go and come forward two from that? Yeah. <laughs> Left two from that. They can forward two. So okay, I'm not. I'm, so I'm one. There, two, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And thirty. If we'd put go to thirty, one more forward. And now if you back out just a little bit, what can I see, first of all, because I've got an elevated position, so I want to have a quick scout round, but I am still keeping myself in the sneaky mode, so I'm not just going to stand there and say, hello! So, from your position, you can see a kobold standing over here. You can see two kobolds standing over here. And that is about it at the moment. Could you zoom out the camera a little bit so I can actually see? <laughs> ah. Okay, so there's nothing between me and the effigy. No. 
Okay then, stop it. I am going to, because from what I can calculate, the effigy is within 15 feet of me. Five, Roughly. 20, 20, Ooh. Okay, if I was to take the 30, instead of being the one I'm, the, the one towards Brown, that would still be 30 in the diagonal. Would that then put me on a water still now would be 20? No. Okay. Um, has anyone noticed me? Nope. Okay, for the moment, I'll just hold the action then. Oh, actually, I could use a cunning action and dash to increase my movement speed. Oh, uh, my movement distance. If, if that's what you want to do, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I will. So oh, that doubles so. it. Okay. So, so yeah, using cunning dash. action, yeah. well, I can use I'll, dash. I'll let you have it. Because you're, go you're going up, over, and down. So I wouldn't normally allow it. It's your first go. So I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you have it. Well, yeah. Because I basically just want to get to 15 feet from the effigy, but no closer. Well, that, that so will you right up to it. I don't want to go right up to it. I'd rather save a little bit of what I've got left on the movement, but just be with 15 feet from it. Then you're kind of about there. And that's perfect. Then I'm going to use my breath weapon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set it on fire, shall so, we? So we are going with plan B then. <laughs> Looks well, like it. You just walk in there and go, hey, I'm the boss. <laughs> Well, the boss said, get in there, set it on fire. I'm going with fire. Going with fire. Burn it until it's not there anymore. I'll smash whatever comes close. Okay. You got an eight. Yep, that's the, dam that's the damage from the breath weapon. Okay. So I've literally just stood there, leaned over the side, no one's about to take one deep, slow breath. Flame on! <laughs> okay, do a and just this perception check for me as well. Do, 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 do. Yep, quite happily. Uh, where am I looking? Damn it. Oh, no, no. Uh -huh, there we go. Oof, that's a 12. It's 12. Hmm. Okay, so you do that. You take your time. You take a deep breath and aim it and as you do that just as it goes past your lips your dragon lips and teeth and you're reveling in this glorious action that you do you notice a slight twinkle even in all the rain it must have just glinted off the light of your fire breath there is something shaped like a dragon inside this effigy does it look expensive it looks like a sigil of a dragon. And then <laughs> this whole thing turns into one giant bonfire. <clears throat> There's something in the fire. I'm not checking what it is. <laughs> Looked like a dragony thing. And as you do that. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, and that. All the cobalt. We have go. their attention. Now it's my go. Right. So, <laughs> Quick, say you're the boss. I... <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. I still have some, some movement left. 25, 30. Do a backflip. Yeah, Do a barrel yeah, roll. Right side of the tent. Okay, well, what I was... Well, my, my movement, I was well, playing in was jumping. You did a double movement and an action. Yeah, well, I did the dash to give myself extra distance from my movement. So it's cunning action, which I can do as a rush. Yeah. And so that would allow me to double my distance, my movement. And I still have a little bit of movement left, so I'm literally taking that action and then to finish off my movement, I'm going to jump onto the corner of the tent then and say, bow before me and stop idolising this false god! Okay, so you're going to go back up onto this tent. Just yeah. jumping up onto the tent. Just I'm just out of reach of anything that's small and pointy. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Right. 
So, Cobalt number one, he he's following you, and he's and he watches you as you skitter straight back up onto uh, onto this tent. But he's got a good idea. So he goes over to uh, the effigy that you set on fire, gets some of the twigs and the branches that are on fire, and starts setting them alight onto the tent that you're standing on. Okay. So he is doing. That. Now everything's burning. <laughs> yeah. Plan worked perfectly. Right. Uh, Please tell me there was somebody in that tent and he just gives. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I've just set me mate on fire. <laughs> oh no, the queen. Damn, what a shame. So these two can, um, I know they've got like spears and bows, but they alternate between the weapons. They're both going to attack um, Hogan. Uh, one's going to attack with the spear. Let's see if I can change that way to that. So Hogan, this one is going to attack you uh, for a 17. Yep, that's a hit. Okay, we're watching the damage on that one. Sorry, boss. Three points of damage. Yeah. And then one comes from behind, he uses his spear. Oh, that's going to hit. That's a 19. Yeah. Oh, and eight points of damage. So you see Hogan, who's kind of almost terrified, laying on these heaps of sacks and things, as two cowboys run up, one from the front, one from behind, and just <laughs> stab him with spears. Spears. So, so just to clarify, did I, did I fail my saving throw or pass my saving you throw? You passed. Um, and uh, this one is going to attack Thorum. Uh, right, so this one can move up. It comes from his tent. He attacks Thorum. I've just lost the page. There we go. It should work. There's a 14 hit. Unfortunately not. Okay. So it twangs goes, off my armour. He goes to twang it and you just bitch slap it away. <laughs> okay. Um, right. It should be the next round. There we go. Boom, boom. Annie! You can now see tons of smoke coming from the middle of the encampment. You can also see from your vantage point, uh, Thoron is now in combat with a kobold. And there's lots of noises going on for the rest of the encampment. Sounds like combat, not too sure. What would you like to do? Counting. Uh, that's why my head's turned, I'm like, I'm looking at the map sideways. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Can I see the cobalt that he is engaged with? Do I need to move diagonal a little bit so that I can you mean fire at it? Yes, sorry. You can see it from there, yeah. But I don't want to fire through him. I want to move to Atlas, so I don't actually. <laughs> you, you can, yeah. I don't want to pull an space. Alinar. That's five foot <laughs> space. Yeah, so I will just shoot with my crossbow then. Go for it. Uh, 15. And then I think. That, that, that hits. You can roll damage. Yeah. Yep. So, where do I roll the damage at? Oh, no. Nope, damage it should that. be next to it. <clears throat> that and also that. Good. Okay. So that is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> A little overkill, hopefully. It, it is overkill. In fact, it's so overkill that you aim fire. And just as Thorin is probably going to strike down at this thing, um, your crossbow boat flies uh, uh, true into his mouth and out his back of his head. And he just poof, slumps down straight into the mud. Can he fly a little bit towards his uh, other comrade because I hit him so hard with that arrow? <laughs> he's kind of flies sprays. 30 feet. No, well, he, not 30 feet, but the blood ground. sprays that far. 
I mean, I'm going like anime style blood spray with that. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's the back of his head erupts in slow motion. Excellent. Ooh. If you've ever watched uh, Bonted Game Sniper or Bonted the movie. Bonted, yeah. yes, I've seen Bonted. Yeah. Uh, so Thorin, you just see this cold Good shot, Annie. Who's, who's tried to attack you, and then suddenly his head explodes. Good shot, Annie. Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> Come on. I really need to every, every week my we this No, no, yeah. it's good. <laughs> uh, and then can I use my bonus to dash? I'll, I'll let you have it, yeah. Okay, Wait so I'll just... Uh, so, you, uh, on the right-hand corner of the yurt? You want to in yurt. front of yeah, over here. Thorn? Uh, other in front of Thorn. Yeah. So where the cobalt was, roughly. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, right there. Okay. There is yeah. a flap into into the the hut. If you want to go in. Uh, have a quick peek. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. If you move another five foot, you can go inside. Excellent. Let, let's take a gander. Might as okay. well. What's so in there? You run past Thorin and dive straight into. The hut. Okie dokie. It's got 20 cobalts in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll a d8 for me? Oh. Four. Four. Oh, interesting. So you run into the hut, you lift up the, 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 the leather flap and dart in. Straight away, you. you at least you're out of the rain, okay? And then your eyes adjust to what you see inside the hut. And you see faces. The walls of this tent are hung with the flint's faces of at least a score of victims. Each has been carefully peeled from the skull, although the skulls themselves are nowhere to be seen. The rest of the hut is a store with two small pallet beds, a sharpening block, and a number of grotesquely keen knives carefully arranged on two Whoa. small wooden tables. So there's a bunch of daggers if you want them, but the oh. hut is empty. The hut is empty. I'll definitely go for the daggers. Take the daggers. Okay. How many daggers are there? You tell me. Should I just roll? See? No, how many? How many? I'm asking you, how many daggers do you see? In your imagination, how many daggers? Are these like surgical da daggers? Are they ragged daggers? What are they? Are rusty daggers? Well, if they've if the, the faces have been carefully surgically removed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dag reflex kicks in. <laughs> Like, should I be making a constitution saving throw for myself here? Yeah, I'm in real life. <laughs> um, I would think that there's probably three or four. Okay. For different parts of the... Anyway, I'm not going to get into the details of what is so involved. You see three or four daggers, all in different states of uh, sharpness, different sizes. There's like ones which could be um, medical. Some which could be just normal dagger size. You know, there's even a butter knife. There's a cheese knife. That kind of thing. <laughs> but each one have bits of flesh and blood and they're, you know. They haven't been cleaned. Exactly. Do you want, do you still want to take them? Yes. Go on in. You take how many? Well, I'll leave the butter knife, I guess? Why is there a butter knife? <laughs> well, who's eating in and front of all of this? And there's a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll hurt more. Yeah, yeah Sheriff of Nightman star. And Chris, Love it. I'll take the spoon. <laughs> I'll direct people to that if they really want okay. it. So After can, we're done killing things. You take three daggers. The sharp ones. Okay. Kill now, you take three daggers. You can, you can add that to your inventory. You now have an additional three daggers. Excellent. Okay. You'll I mean, go... I could pick up the butter knife, but we can come back for it, right? <laughs> That's the end of your turn. Thorin. Uh, you how it? far away from the two kobolds that 
Uh, Hogan is in front of am I? Uh, 20 for the, for the first one. You can get to here. Is that 20? Yeah. Sorry, so, 10, 15. We're, we're, we're doing diagonals. Oh, so it'd be... Oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, I'll move to... Uh, I'll, I'll move the extra five to get next to Hogan. Yep. So we can almost sort of go back to back yep. against these two goblins. Um, Hogan, while you are within 10 feet of me, you cannot be charmed, and all of your saving throws have plus four. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I'll attack that cold bolt that's in front of me uh, with Betsy. Yeah. So Betsy's in hand. I come in whirling Betsy around my head like this, as if I'm going to do a massive sort of baseball bat style um, attack. Yeah, he's keen. He's, he's looking at Hogan. He hasn't spotted you. Ooh, it's not good. It's not a good attack. I don't suppose a 10 hits, does it? A 10 does miss. <laughs> right, so that's one attack. So I'll take a second attack. As you miss, it whooshes past his head and he looks up. Like, right, and that's uh, 18 to okay. hit. As you backhand, you take his head off. <laughs> oh, has he got he that? He looks up just to see his head take it off. <laughs> I rolled damage anyway. Into, but... the, into the mud in front of you. To Spraying awesome. you with more mud. Come on, Hogan, we've got this, old chap. No. Um, and that is my go over. Okay, Hogan. Well timed. It's your go. Uh, you said they had bows. Some have bows, some have spears. They've got a mixture of everything. Okay, short bows. Yep, short bows. Right, I'll remember that for later then. For now, I shall uh, attack the, the other one that's in front of me. Okay. Uh, with my short sword. So I shall swing down. Uh, that's 17 to hit. That hits. Which I'm going to assume hits. Nice hit. And that is 8 points of damage. Okay. So you push yourself off the sandbags after hearing Thorin uh, dispatch one who's coming towards you. You feel perfectly fine now. You're no longer scared of whatever that was that, that, that pushed you away in the first place. It was, it was just gut-wrenching fear. And you just take it out on this poor kobold. <laughs> <laughs> drops down dead in a heap in front of you. Okay, I'm. Uh, so that's the the one. Can I see the one um, that is two spaces uh, and one down from where Brion is standing f across across the altar table? Is this one? Yeah. Yes, you can see him. Okay, I'm going to take uh, two steps to up the page. We'll call that north for argument's sake. Two steps up. Thorin, hold the line. Uh, watch out for that patrol snake that's on our uh, on our flank. Uh, stay if you stay there. Take take maybe a step forward and block the avenue. Bring gotcha, boss. forward and uh, engage those two kobolds at the base of the tent where um, where her deal is. And uh, once I've said that, I'm then going to take my my second attack by throwing a dagger at the kobold um, that's two squares over and one down from Hadil. Uh, that is a 12 in total to hit with a dagger. This one, yeah? Yes. That is. Uh, that is four points of damage in total. Okay. Um, it sinks into his shoulder. He drops his spear and kind of looks at it. Ah! But he's still alive. Ow! Mm. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude! Is that the end of your go, Hogan? That is the end of my go. Brian. Right, Hogan, your command was to engage these two nearest me? Yes, that's correct. Right, let's do it. I am going to swing as hard as I can at the one that is sort of below me on the map grid first, if I may. Okay, do you want to go here? Or do you want to go here? you want to stand directly? Uh, to can I be in range of both of them? Yep, you can do it here. Great. There you, go. there you go. I wonder if a follow through attack is a thing. No. Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> only, uh, just do a pirouette with your sword. Just. Yeah, is there a way of getting them both with one swing, Dave? No, you've got two attacks. No. You you have two attacks, but okay. they are you know five foot apart. 
plus. Okay, I'm going to go for the the lowest one first, please. Okay. Gonna, now. Uh, Roll your ticket. Uh, uh, that's an eight. That's an eight, 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 you missed. So oh no! You swing and you miss. Yeah. Probably because he's holding, it's like holding a dagger. Oh. Uh, as he's looking around. Yeah, mate. Okay. Got another attack. Um. He's dropped his spear. Go for the other one. Or is he dropped? Oh, there he is. Come in, Sean. Are you there? We got a bit of lag. Bonus action. It, you haven't done your second attack yet, Sean. No, it's went to yeah. he's, he's Again. Sean, we had a lot of lag there. Your first okay. attack missed. There we are. Or do you have any second attacks? Okay. Okay, I have, I have rolled for my second, uh, and I've second got 12. Second attack hits. Does a 12 hit? Hit, 12 hits. Okay, let's roll for damage. Uh, damage is 11. Nice damage. Okay, on the same target. Good shot, Sean. Brown, even. Brown. Yeah. Same target? Same target. Same thing, this one just impacts. He's like, oh, hold on to this dagger that's in his shoulder. He just whimpers as he sees a giant. Well, how big are you? Six foot six? Yeah, roughly. But a beefy six foot six. A beefy none of this, six uh, six. None of this lion skinny lion nonsense. Growling at him, holding the morning star, <laughs> flatten and crumples his body into the mud. Okay. <laughs> I mate. almost feel bad for them. Like <laughs> No. They made their choices, Annie. Pancakes for breakfast. Okay, Hadil. <laughs> you are on right. top of the hut. And the hut has been set on fire. And is setting it on fire. Goody. Um, the one that's on the snake. Yep. Is that just a regular, so I'm just looking at a normal, looks to me like your standard coal bob, just a little bit classier. He has a snake. <laughs> it is. So uh, something I can, uh, I will show you if this works. Um, Ooh. Ooh. I will. I will show the audience because you won't be able to see it, unfortunately. But if you tune into Twitch, you will be able to see it pop up. And this is what mm -hmm. the snake riders look like. So this is a uh, an ember snake uh, ridden by a cobble. Ah. Mm. So there you go. Love these. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And all your all the other kobolds, um, just to show you kind of more artwork. Uh, fantastic artwork from Epic Encounter Steamforge. These are the uh, the standard kobolds. Oh, how cute are they? And so, you've just been oh. slaughtering them all. Oh, my little kobolds. Uh, more evidence <laughs> that they have bows. Yeah, more <laughs> they yes. do indeed. They have bows and they have arrows. You could yes. probably get away with tying two short bow strings together for your bow, Steve. To That's be honest. exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Their cuteness is a defence mechanism. Don't fall for it. So, <laughs> Hadil, you're on top of this this hut. You can see a uh, a fire snake and a kobold riding the yeah. fire snake. So, look, looking this fire snake, it I just look. I mean, it doesn't look armoured to me. It's good. I'm, so, I am going to leap from the top, wielding my rapier, and I am going for the snake. Not the kobold, I am literally going to drop down on him like a ton of bricks, okay. or gold bricks in my case, obviously. Yep. And, yes, so I am going to go for it. Go. And I am going to have advantage on this because of assassinate. Mm. This snake <laughs> has made no attacking move, so he has not taken any turn in combat. Which means I get advantage, which then automatically means I also will get sneak attack. But let's just see what happens with the roll first. So, fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Let's get a deal. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a That's 15. Right. Does a 15 hit the snake? A 15 snake. does hit. Fantastic. This is fantastic. Let's just first no, off with. Fantastic. Or thank even better. <laughs> Only a four with the rapier, but. Let's roll for that sneak attack. Woohoo! Go on, you lousy. 13. So it's 4 from the rapier and an extra 13 for the sneak attack. Nice! Cool. 
17 damage in total. So 17 in total, piercing El Stabo in the face of Snako. Okay, so you jump off the heart, you stab this uh, snake in the face as you do. You don't hit anything vital. Um, and then you hit the ground. <laughs> you smash down into the mud below. Although this bit isn't really muddy, you've got kind of a stones outside this hut. So someone mm -hmm. uh, nice might live in this one. Uh, but it does not kill the snake. Okay, well, um, I, you well I'm going to have. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm going to use my cunning action here to disengage and get them away from the big snake I haven't <laughs> killed. Okay, so basically you've dropped down, uh, let's say, I here. jump onto the, literally, straight on the top, you know, yeah. coming down on the top of his head, give it some beans. Yep. Stab him, realise he's not dead, leg it, as all rogues would. <laughs> which, which not dead, run away. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to pretty much go back in the same in the same sort of direction as in I'm actually thinking to go back over said tent, which I know is on fire. I'm going to uh, say can you say? can't go onto the same tent because it is consumed on fire. Okay, then well, I'll you, move I, back. I shouldn't say that. You can, but you will take fire damage. I am resistant to fire. So, I am what? stuff it. What I'll do then is I will, if I've got the distance, then I will go and behind. I will move and literally hide in Brown Shadow. I'll be behind him, like he makes things explode. Ha! <laughs> they can't see me now. Well, they've got to go through him to get me. Either or. <laughs> okay, so you're going to move around him. Yep. Okay, so. No, no, not the snake, Brown. You're going to move it this way. I doing. Yeah, I am doing the. Let's hide behind the big guy with the wacky I... thing. 10, 15, 20, yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, you've <laughs> moved out of combat range of the kobold, the snake, and the kobold, so they're all going to get a uh, hit against you. I... With, uh, oh. I thought disengage you could I do might, with and my, not get... A... With my cunning action in disengage, I don't... There's a rogue. I thought we didn't have that. No, that's right. Oh, There's a rogue. I can literally. It's cunning. It's because it's my cunning action. I can disengage yeah. and not get touched. So, no, try and stab me. Oh no, you can't. I'm gone. That's I'm a uh, plan B. Oh. <laughs> There's always a plan B. Yeah. Right here it comes. You run past this kind of square thing. Yep. Oh, the fear. The fear thing. Can Damn you it. roll a wisdom check for me, please? Oh joy. I'm so saving throw, isn't it? Yes, please. Ooh, come on, big numbers. Yeek. Yes. That's not big. No, it's not. Five. Big. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so as soon as you, you think you've gotten away, you think, okay, I've jumped down off a burning building, I've stabbed a, a giant snake in the face, I then run around because I'm going to hide behind... Oh, wrong character. I'm going to hide behind the big, <laughs> um, big lion dude. And as you do, as you run past the altar, suddenly something creeps in. Even with all your defences, all your dragonbornness, an inane fear grips you. You see visions of your body, your flesh, your internal organs being rended and wrenched apart. Lovely. They're after me bits. Can you roll a uh, 1d6 for me, please? 1d6, hold on. And roll in the d6. It's a 3. Okay, you take 3 mental damage. Ouch. And rather than kind of running behind Brion, you kind of do what happened to Hogan. You kind of slip and slide in the mud and then just kind of scramble. This is pure fear to get behind Brion. I was already feeling fear because of where I'd stabbed the huge effing snake, snake and it alive. didn't die. The fear was there <laughs> already. This is just adding. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay, so uh, we're on to Maigo, the one who is now setting the face on fire. He's going to attack Brion. The snake moves up to attack Brion. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's going to make it go for... for uh, Oran, and we are good to go. Let's try. So this is going to attack Brion. Here we go. 13. Does the 13 hit you, Brion? A 13 does not. Does not hit you. Okay. 
Let's try the snake. Oh, the snake gets a multi-attack. He gets one with its bite and one with its tail. Here we go. So bite first. Uh, nine. Oh, that misses. Mm -hmm. his tail. Oh, 22. I'm assuming nice. that's oh, tw 22 hits. Okay, 22 hits. This is a lash from the tail as it <laughs> slaps you up the back side of the head. That's four damage plus an extra six damage. Not only does it hurt, it burns. <laughs> So the side oh, of your face, on. all the fur that's on the side of your face and your and your you know, cute little whiskers singes yeah. away. You have a nice big brown uh, black singe mark. <laughs> all your fur has been burnt. Uh, you look as good as Hogan does. Oh, great. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> no offense, boss. Just for a moment, I'm no longer afraid of this <laughs> in awe of that tail. <laughs> uh, the same for Thorin. This snake comes up to you. Uh, tries to make a bite attack on you. Ten, I'm assuming that will miss. That is a miss. And the tail lasted... Nine that is just what you need to hit me. Ooh. Okay, so that's five from the tail damage. And here comes... Oh, you got a one. Probably because all of that armor around you, <laughs> it doesn't burn. You feel the heat. you like... Ooh, and you can see the rain. It's so it's six total, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Six damage. Bum 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 Right. Uh oh. Top of the round. Again, using the uh, D and D Beyond uh, Encounter Maker. It's got the dice. I like the dice, dice rolling. We're still kind of learning and practicing how to use this. We're trying to do something different, something new. Um, Annie, your go. Is there a way to just slice my way out of the tent if there's not an opening so that I can come out? Yep. Okay. You can hear combat and just just outside. You've got lots you of daggers. Pick one and go. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm going to do that. Okay. So Rip it open. Yeah. You come out. And I've got my rapier ready. Yes. Because I think that's attack. too close to... Uh, I, I think that that is too close to hit with the crossbow. But as we said earlier, technically it's ten. It's it's like around ten foot away. So crossbow, or what do you want to do? Uh, we'll try with the rapier since I have it like swinging it okay. so through the. Oh, to the snake. Yes. And go for the rapier. Twenty-four. Oh, twenty-four hits. Oh, nice. Split. So, is that Annie? While you are standing within ten feet of me, you get plus four to all your saving throws, and you cannot be charmed. Excellent. And then I have the. Where is it the? Where is my snake? There we go. So, 19 damage? Ooh, 19 damage in total. In total, yeah. Alright, let's have a look at this. This is... Uh, 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 okay. It and... is still standing. It didn't like that, though, and it knows you're there now. The snake no, it doesn't, because I'm going to disengage. Oh, oh. you're going to disappear again. You're going to go back into the hut. <laughs> It'll have to follow me. <laughs> so you, you step back in, yeah? And that uh, step flap the side of down. the hut. Yep, the, the flap side. pulls down the and they can no longer see me. <laughs> nice Let's get the old get the thread out. Yeah. Shwipe! Ooh! Thorin. You're not dead yet. Thorin, you're not sure what you just saw. It looked like Annie. You couldn't be sure. And is there? What was that? Gone. What the hell was that? Right, uh, I am going to attempt to slice upwards so that if I manage to kill the snake, yeah. I'm going to go through and try and hit the kobold in one go. Nice move. So I'm going to do, do like you... an upward swing. If you do it, I'll let you have it. And I will be attacking with Betsy again. Here it comes. There's a 12 hit the snake. Oh, a 12 does not hit the snake. 
Okay, I shall attempt the same thing again yep. with my second attack. Go for it. Does a 24 hit? A 24 definitely hits. Right, I shall expend one first level spell slot to do Divine Smite, which oh. means I get an extra 2d8 damage. Nice. So I'm going to roll my normal sword damage first. Yep. So that's nine. And where's the D8? There is the D8. Plus 12 damage. Okay. So that's, yeah, 21 damage. Okay. And I've got a knocker spell. So, so stay there. Boom. You, you explain it. How do you want to do it? Right, so I just basically did one upward swing, but the maybe the snake sort of like slivered out the way. But as it did, I brought it back round and tried to do an upward cut so that, it, like I say, if I managed to kill the snake, I want to try and travel through to get to the kobold at the same time. Whether it kills it or not is another thing, but, you know. It does. The kobold goes airborne uh, with the holy Four. snake. And I think your sword actually <laughs> glows with that one as well, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think it does, but for for a for a thematic um, extravagance, you could say it does because um, it is a divine smite paladin special ability. So yeah, it could do. Okay, well, I like that. All done. Shame they weren't undead. I would have got another D8. <laughs> it's a shame you killed that one already. Oh, well, sorry. Were you doing something? <laughs> I, I can find another one. It's fine. <laughs> okay, is that uh, And I haven't moved, yeah. so I will move uh, to war. I think uh, Brian, Brian's got those ones, and the guys have got those ones up there. So I'm going to move my maximum movement down towards that one that's all the way down south. Okay, you can go in direct line, yeah? Yeah, it's right. 30 is my max. Okay. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Takes you right cool. up to it. And that is my go over. Okay. Huzzah! Nicely done. And well, guarding the avenue as well. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Yep. Um, so Follow for orders for the letter, boss. Bravo, bravo. Foran, you see that this one, uh, he ha obviously he hasn't moved. But what he appears to be is standing in front of a, a cave into the side Ooh. of this mountain. Oh. Uh, there's an opening. However, this okay. kobold, as you see him, uh, let's see if I have a nice picture I can show you. Um, so that's up at the moment. He is dressed in armor. He has a metal cladding all over him. He has chains and his hands um, just end oh. in blades. I see. He is a, uh, what we might call an upgrade. He is definitely mm. got an upgrade. Cool. He had he some cosmetic head. surgery. He is a kobold <laughs> champion. I will be there. Right, hurry up with those lot up there. I might need a hand with this one. I'm calling dibs on those hands. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> okay, next up is Hogan. Okay, so um, Hadil is currently floundering a little bit in, in the mud. Uh, so I, I'm going to say he's, he's sort of on all fours as he stumbles away from, from the altar. So what I'd like to do is use him as a bit of a uh, springboard take a leap off of his shoulders uh, parkour over uh, Brion <coughs> up onto the top of the snake's head, strike down into the snake's head and use my momentum to drag the blade along the length of the snake and kick the kobold off at the same time Go for it. <laughs> if you yeah. roll a natural 20 <laughs> <laughs> so you do, 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 do you want to make an, uh, I'll do an acrobatics check first for the, for the leap over Brion <coughs> and stuff go on then. Um, that's an 18 for oh, yeah. acrobatics check. You're, you're, you're up. You're somersaulting. And then my uh, attack with my short sword yep. is uh, only an 11. Uh, 11 misses, unfortunately. Okay, so I don't, I don't manage to stab the snake. I just slide down it, so I'll be next to it on the other side. Um, so I, I would intend to go over. Uh, that's it, that'll do. Thank you. Has anyone and got a ladder? Then, and then I will take <laughs> my second attack with my short sword on the snake, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, there we go. That's, um, yeah, again, an actual one. Yeah. 
Uh, I think you must hate. Um... <laughs> I hate digital dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, digital you, you dice risk, hate me you go whoosh, expecting the snake to be there but it's not no it seems to it seems to go what the hell it's um, phased out of existence Brian you're up I'm assuming that's your end Hogan yeah <laughs> uh, I'd yeah. like to uh, I'd like to use my bonus action and activate my rage please because that burn to the face has really pissed me off okay look I've got these little things okay and you're love raging. it all right, I am. Oh, cool. oh look at that! <laughs> oh, they did the best. Right, <laughs> let's let's do this. I am going to smack whatever's within smacking range of the morning star. Okay, you uh, have a kobold. Okay. You have a kobold and a kobold riding a snake. I reckon the snake's the bigger problem. So let's go for let's go for snakey McCobold first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go for it. The hit. Is a, is a hit. Here we it's... go. It is a right. Want, want to start me up? Come on. Uh, put, uh, I get two extra damage, right, if I'm raging. Is that correct? Uh, uh, yes, it is. Here we go. There we go. Can I uh, peek I out through the tent and be like, kill him a lot? <laughs> you, can, you can do that, yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Okay, okay. so the kobold, uh, with 11 damage. I knew you stay in the snake, weren't you? Uh, sorry, the snake with 11 damage, yeah. you kill. Yeah. <laughs> it caves in its head, just crumbles in. To, yes. to the fang. Burst in. Grab me a few of its teeth. And the, the, the kobold <laughs> on its back just like flounders onto the floor, like, what? And tries to sort of okay. quickly drag his. He's out of luck. Can... <laughs> what we do? Can we I do swing again replace... for the rider? I'll replace that with that, okay? So now you can see yeah. there's two kobolds, the snake is dead. Oh, he he really had this coming, the snake rider. So I'm going to hit to for a roll hit again. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> that hits. I'm going to roll damage. That's eleven. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. This okay. is why we like big people. <laughs> is he done? He's done. He's done. Is he evaporated into a fine red mist? Pretty much. I mean, the, it, it's the, this heavy rain. It's just this. This was mud. Now it's just it's like red clay. It's just red right. everywhere. It's a red. Stream. But I will forever have the scar he gave me, which if is I, in if some I ways. Enough minis, there'd be like bodies just laying everywhere <laughs> around this area right now. But you know, I don't. But, uh, they went for the face, Dave. They went for the face. Yes. It's all on them. Oh yeah, I know they're cute, nice but burn. yeah. Cross your face now. Oh, not happy about that. And I've only got one side of whiskers. Yeah. Oh. You you used to love doing this, twirling them around when you're pretending to be like. I know. And now look at me. I'm gonna, wanna, I'm gonna have one wrist stronger than the other because I've got my yeah. whiskers on the other side. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the balance is gonna go as well. The whiskers on one side. Yeah. yeah. I won't be able to get my head through small gaps. You know, it's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> The poor old lady down the end of the road. We'll never see you again. We'll never make out the fence. Yeah, we won't be able to get all that extra food from other people's houses. Is that your oh, go? Yeah. Yeah. Brian, is that your go? That is my go. I am okay. apoplectic. Hadil. Okay. Well, effectively, <laughs> he's a clean shop except for the one Colbert who was playing with fire. Yep. This is the one who was playing with fire. Yeah. 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 Right, well, you've got no choice, is it? I can't leave him standing there. The only person who plays with fire around here is me. So, yeah, I'm going to go for him, and it's going to be with a rapier. Okay. Gonna, how, how tall are, is this kobold? Just want to know. Um, they're small. Yeah, I know they're small, but I want an actual figure here. Like, yeah. well, let's say 2.3 foot. <laughs> no, because I'm seven, and, yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> So that, yeah, this is hopefully the last thing he'll ever see will be uh, my man actually maniacally grinning face because he's playing with fire and that's my trick. There you go. Right then. And we are rolling Jesus and I Oh okay, maybe not. Hmm. No you miss. <laughs> Damn it. Do you get a second attack? No, I don't. Okay. Um, no, um, you missed. 
and that is no, the end of your go. Uh, I have missed doing anything. The only thing to do is just well disengage again and just <laughs> take a step back and go stuff it. I can't kill him. You, you do the smash thing. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Where, where are you going to go? I'm. Well, I'm not going anywhere near that damn daughter again. So I'll literally just take a couple. I'll just take. I've stepped diagonally back so that I'm alongside Hogan. Yep, just to there. Okay. So this kobold is going to square up onto Brion because he's going to show the Dragonborn how to do it. <laughs> and he rolls. <laughs> Gets a 23. Oh my god. Oh, come oh. on. <laughs> right seven points of damage as he rams a spear straight into Brion. Oh. About, uh, right. about, don't, just by the knee. Don't forget, Sean, because you're raging, you take half damage. That's good, but it's still going to hurt. No, it's only oh. three points of damage. You could shrug that off. Walk oh. it off, son. All right. As it <laughs> slips, slides into your thigh. Yeah. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> is his considered reaction. Is his, is his, is his thing, yeah. uh, right. <laughs> Then I get another go. The champion. That's what he's called. Cobalt champion. Thorin. He's seen you approach him. Just out of all the, the rain and the mud. He's kept his cool. He will let no one pass. And so I'm standing in front of him, not trying to pass. He uh, <laughs> is going to square up and attack. You shall not pass! Oh, that was nearly a natural 20. It's a oh. He Fred, misses. that's a miss. Uh, he does not get two attacks, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's it. He needs to take lessons from the other kobold, just saying. Yep. <laughs> the, the other one's hardcore. He's surprised yeah. by your still standing. The other one, I need no weaponry or armor. Come up, I'll headbutt you in the knees. <laughs> <laughs> And Annie, we are back to you, top of the round. All right. Uh, well, I will, hearing nothing, I will come back out. I mean, I saw that they were handling that one little tiny kobold that just won't die. Yeah. You Would can't. you hurry up and kill that thing? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm it's sorry. like the Terminator kobold. Yeah. Oh, right, God. Um, 15, he is 20. so dead. So I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna uh, come over closer to the run. Yeah, over here. Hello. Yeah, okay. but uh, over a little bit. So ten, fifteen, twenty. Where, where I can shoot from, and not possibly accidentally shoot my comrade. Can you go this way. No. <laughs> no, so he's trying to say, do you want to go towards the altar? Do you want to go here? No, I'm good. Go stand on top like of it, you get a really good shot. Can I actually, that is like a like a well thing. Can I jump on top of that? Yeah. Okay. So you jump. So that I have a little bit of uh, height. Yeah. You want to move around slightly? There you go. Yeah. Balance okay. on that, and do you want me to roll my athletics or acrobatics I, to do that? I would like you to roll a d10 for me, please. D10? Oh. Uh oh. Not d100, d10. Uh, d10. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. A seven? A seven, okay. So, you hop on to what appears to be a well. It is actually uh, a pit. So, as you're walking forward to, towards Thorin, you're, you're taking aim. You glance down into this pit. Um, what you see below you, uh, there appears to be a, a human, a human man down there. And he's just kind of staring up at you in the rain. He's completely sodden. He looks kind of a bit gaunt. His eyes are kind of shallow. And he's just staring up at you. Hey, buddy. We'll get you out of there. And he's just like, help, help me. Yeah, I've got to deal with this out here first. Okay. 
<laughs> Not gonna be much help if we're dead. Rune, you attack. So, where is my. There it is. Come on. Oh. It's only a nine. I assume that that misses. It misses. Yeah. So. Is there anything that I can do to get him out of there? Is there any rope nearby or anything that I see? Since I missed. There, there's lots of things around. Uh, don't forget these things. The tents are made of rope lashed around sticks and, and bits and pieces. There's bound to be some rope somewhere. Uh, what you see from also, now that you've missed, you kind of spend more time looking at him down in the pit, is there seems to be like jagged bits of rusted metal, glass, nails all in the, the rim of the pit pointing down so anyone trying to get out would have a really bad time oh that's nice. most unfortunate sounds efficient uh, yeah we'll work on that one after <laughs> but if you want to go and run off somewhere to get some rope you can just run off somewhere you can go back in the in the hut or you can choose a different hut or yeah you, would was there rope any rope here. No, I'm, I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> He's trying to make me go over there. <laughs> He's always on. I'll tell you what, it's probably made of rope. That's what it, it's the rope store. It's a rope storage. Mm -hmm. It's a chest evil of rope, rope storage. Did, did I see rope any storage. rope to like that would have tied people up that were getting their face shaved off? You, we can say yes. It, it, it's just, you know, you're just looking for strips of rope. Look, yeah, look where the shackle this encampment is. There's bound to be rope somewhere. Just run off, run, run off. Uh, Can I just tear off, down the entire yurt? Annie, <laughs> you want to do? if you take all those faces and tie them together, you <laughs> oh, <laughs> the mouth is like okay, footholds. I was honestly, won't yeah. lie, I was thinking of taking one and putting it on my face and then taking another one and putting it on the badger skull. <laughs> <laughs> Today, man, I decided I'll to be not it. be quite that disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just gonna like, I already ripped part of the yurt open. I've got, uh, I can run back over there and yeah, you, you wanna tear it apart. Here, yeah? yeah, I'm just gonna tear it apart okay. and. So you're gonna, you, you search the place for stuff. Okay, Thorin, over to you. Uh, right, um, so Thorin sort of dodges out the way of that attack that came from the kobold yep. and then he leans into the kobold and he says hello chap oh those blades on your hands must make it hard to pick your nose and as he does he just reaches forward and he taps the front corner of the kobold's helmet i think they had like pokey out helmets at the front yeah and if you'd like to make me a dexterity 15 saving throw please Can roll it. Here we go. Five. Failed. Right. The front tip of his helmet suddenly bursts into bright light. So I'm guessing he's blinded. Okay. So he's like, and as that happens, I just basically back away. Because the reason out again, the reason I did that is because I don't know whether we want to try and capture this one and interrogate him to see what we can find out what's in the cave, or something like that. You know what I mean? So. I have the tools to really torture yeah. right now. Yeah, and then uh, um, in, and then I'll just back away uh, fifteen feet. Okay. So he's, he's basically like, he's like he's doing all his karate moves with his blades and everything. He's like, wah, wah, wah. But he's he's there you go. Yeah, that'll yeah, do. Yep. Unless you want to go towards this way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be the trying. one time I roll, roll really bloody low, even though I've got so many bonuses to my saving throws. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, Hogan. Um, so one of the kobolds that's dead on the floor near my feet, yeah. does it have a bow? Yes. I'd like to pick the bow up, please. Okay. Is that a bonus action or an action? Uh, I'll let you have a bonus action. I, okay, I love in that the way case... this kobold... He's standing toe to toe with a giant lion, a gold dragonborn, <laughs> and a, 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 like a facially scarred ranger. And facially like, scarring yeah. doesn't make me a better fighter, apparently. Yeah. Captain of a paramilitary unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
He's just waving the spear like this between all three yeah. of you. Boss, Man. maybe we should ask him to join. <laughs> he's a tough one. He's got the stuff. He's he's a, he's, he's the barbarian. Is what we need. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm assuming it's a short bow that he's got, it not is. A, not a long bow because of the size. But anyway, I'm ignoring him because he's too tough for me. So I'm going to step around the effigy, and I'm going to take two shots at the armored dude uh, who Thorin was facing off against. Because okay. you want to step, I... over, step over here, yeah. Yeah, no, not there. <laughs> no. I step around the effigy yeah. the other way, yeah, away yeah, from the right, fear pit. <clears throat> That's the one. Okay. Uh, and take two shots at the blinded kobold, please. Okay, blinded kobold, go for it. Um, so here's the first one. That's a 25 to hit. That hits. And that is uh, for five points of damage. And then the second shot okay. is... Oh, for God's sake. No, one. No, it's a seven. Oh, well, I don't know what you complain about. Because <laughs> it looked like a one. I honestly, t to God, thought it was a one. But it's, uh, it's, it's a 15 to it's hit. A 15. It's a 7, yeah, it's a 7 plus 8. Um, okay, so the, the first arrow kills him. But then your second arrow, just like, before he hits the ground, just goes in him again. Well done. Awesome. Well, on the plus side, we can now take his helmet as a light source. Because it lasts an hour. <laughs> you got the point. <laughs> and then I'll turn to uh, to Brion and I will say, subdue that one. Subdue. Smack it in the skull as hard as I can. You may interpret that as you wish in your rage state. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Brion, your go. You are raging. I'm raging. The blood is pumping through your subdue? ears. The rain is, is pouring down, and then someone is like whispering something to you, like just like annoyingly. And you're yeah. Like, yeah. Give a little love tap. It'll be fine. Give a love okay. tap. Baby love tap. So is that an unarmed strike to try and incapacitate him without murdering him with my big lion hands? If it just. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna try an unarmed <laughs> strike to, to subdue. So I'm not actually sure how I subdue people. Uh, let's do this. Okay. What, what weapon do you use, Sean? I have a morning star, which will just turn him into paint. Yeah, that's like. that's not like a, a sword where you say, well, I hit him with the flat of the sword. No, instead. it's spiky ball. Or like an axe where you say, I hit him with the flat well, of the well, axe. <laughs> You've got no flat. He's spinning it reverse and up. Surely that won't do much damage. Clock him with a pommel. Okay, what with the handle? You can invent nunchucks at the same time. Yeah, snap it in half. Right, so... What do we reckon? Unarmed strike or hilt of the morning star? I reckon unarmed strike might do you alright. Yeah, I think so too. Hilt of the right. morning star does sound kind of sexy though. Hilt of the morning oh, yeah. star sounds like it should be some sort of special ability, shouldn't it? I yeah, thought well, it was the next star or Martin book, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hilt of the morning star. Right, I'm going to go unarmed, and I'm going to roll now to hit, which is a, ooh, 23. It's 20, you hit. Let's, nice. let's some damage on this. Yeah, so I have to roll for damage. I don't want to die. Oh, it's uh, isn't it one plus your strength bonus? He has natural uh, weapons, so it's one. Oh, yeah, you've got claws, weapons. haven't you? Yeah, but... Is it D4 or D6 or I, something? That's mm. a 1D4 plus 3. I think that's going to kill him. No, but you can you can kind of say that you're aiming for a really fleshy bit. You, you've rolled yeah. to hit, so I'm going to push you to hit. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go unarmed because that's just four. So just a straight four. Yeah. Okay. Four. Give him a bitch slap. You knock him the senseless. <laughs> right. Good. But he is still breathing. Oh, phew. Right. So I can do what I want to. Right. Okay. Let's find out what he knows. Um, well, basically, you, you have, before we continue, uh, if anyone wants a quick break, yes. tell me now. Right. A quick so break. <laughs> you, have, you have cleared the encampment of the kobolds in this area. We still have a bit more to do. So we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we can carry on. Is everybody still okay to do that? Yeah, yes. cool. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we, everyone, we're going to take a quick five-minute break, probably less, but yep. we'll, we'll say five-minute break. I'm going to let you see um, the trailer again, 
uh, and then we'll be back in five. So it's just grab your snacks, grab your drinks, uh, grab yourself in the toilet. That sounds weird. And, no. and we'll always... <laughs> <laughs> what show is this? Um, and we'll see you again in five. See you later. of a cobbled queen with visions of a world made new in fire and rage. Driven by prophecy, she has filled her followers with the raging passion of her cause. Now, you step forth into her burning realm. Dark shapes move among the rising embers. Thick-skinned beasts belch gouts of fire. It's an ambush! Roll for initiative. Battle is about to commence. Epic Encounters. Turn your RPG up to 11.
hopefully we should all be in our same places and we are amazing right yay technology is so great uh, it's when it works it is right okay yeah. so um <laughs> i didn't get to have my break so what i'm gonna do oh. is we just left you in the encampment you've just slaughtered literally all of the kobolds in the encampment and you found one which you have subdued i'm assuming you're just going to interrogate him and find out all the clues <laughs> Um, so I'll hand it back to you while I have a quick chocolate. So there's a few things I want to do. Collect me dagger, collect me short sword, collect enough bow strings to remake my longbow up. So I'm going to tie something together uh, to make a replacement longbow string. I'm going to top my arrows off is uh, it, back up to 20. Is this something you can do quickly? You are still on a yep. timer. Yes. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to it's do not, it. It's not taking hours. I'm just collecting yeah. this stuff up. Going to tie two strings together to make a longbow string, mm -hmm. um, and top my arrows back up to to twenty. And I suggest uh, anyone else that's used any range weapons should, if they've got bows. So you actually yeah, I have. Hurry, get your stuff. Go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got crossbows, but I don't think they any of them had crossbows, and my bolts went flying. So I had one that I shot way too hard, and the other one just is gone um the the human that's in the pit we're not going to be able to get him out quickly so i suggest we leave him where he is he's on his own and uh he's probably safer there agree, than wandering disagree? across the town well, we could i come... disagree because i was um, taking the um tent apart to use that as a covering for all the metal pieces i'm cool with it um, yeah, I'm cool. So while you guys are interrogating the what? little Could... kobold, I can get him out. Okay. Or try to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll help um, Annie construct something to get him out while you three um, interrogate the uh, kobold then. Okay. Because so that will be quick then. So we'll, we'll, we'll divide the labour then. So I'll search the camp. Adil and Brion interrogate the kobold. And um, Annie and Thoron get the guy out of the pit. Yeah. We, we could actually do a little bit of searching while we're creating it, because if we go into one of the tents that uh, Annie hasn't been in and start pulling up, apart the, you know, the levers and furs to make a rope or something, if we don't find a rope, that is, then at least we've searched one, if that makes sense. But I'm am... just going to run around and search wherever. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely wanting to milk those snakes, and they're on the outside, but while you guys are searching, you find anything <laughs> not as noxious or hideous... <laughs> I like my poisons, so hit me up, tell me where it is, and I can very quickly run over there and stash some in a vial, do my thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and not kill this small lizard <laughs> while we're getting information out of him. Okay, so Hogan, how do you want to direct all this? And he's, and he's putting a, a hut apart, the one with all the faces. Yeah. And you realise, Annie, as you're putting these like levers and, and tarps and stuff, a lot of it is skin, human. Skin. Yummy. Probably dwarf and half oh. in there as well, but it's skin rather than just tanned hides and things like that. Does it have a pork crackling like consistency? Oh, God. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Come on, man. Road snacks. <laughs> you were disturbing. And it's I'm Dragon still Ball. raining. So I'm sure that smells delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I suggest we we put it in the pit. I suggest um, we get I'm this as, as cover. So okay, so we're going to put it in the pit. We're going to put it in the pit as cover, and he can either climb himself out or not. But we need to move on. So the, uh, the safest place for him is in the pit, out of the way. Right, we so can always we put the, we put the tent over the pit a little bit. Um, and if he can climb himself out, great. If he can't, then he stays there, but at least he's got a little bit of shelter out the rain. Um, and we can also throw down any food that we find, can't we, while we're doing that? So at least he's got something to eat. Human pork scratchings, we've got lots. <laughs> so, Annie, what are you doing? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> what What are you doing? Well, I was pulling apart the... Yeah, so you've done that. Tent looks and... like human skin, yeah. Yeah. Yummy. And... I already knew that there was a rope in that bacon. other tent, yep. so I could tie it. Hopefully, there was something there that I could tie it to. I don't remember what the thing looked like. So, and tie it to the, weird the, the side into the pit. Yeah, 
okay. into the pit. So hopefully he can pull himself out and not stab himself to death on the way up. Okay. You see him trying to uh, climb out. Okay. He's like, look, something's like, thank you. Um, and at some point, as I'm walking past Hogan, I tap him on the shoulder and he starts to feel a little bit better. Um, can you put your hit points up by seven, please? Thank you very much. I shall mark that off. In fact, um, can Annie and uh, Hogan and Hadil just just hold hands for a sec, split second, and then hold my hands. Yeah, and and literally takes five seconds. And can you it's my all? Tail, but technically hand. Can you all raise your current and maximum hit points by five for the next eight hours? Um, That's aid, by the way. If you're wondering, second level spell aid. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's maximum and current. So it will heal you for five if you're damaged. If you're not, it'll put your maximum up by five and your current up by five, but it does that anyway for both of them. Does that make sense? Yeah, what about my face? <laughs> no, you're all right. You, you're tough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Horrible scar. I just, if you can do anything for me, maybe. Uh, I'll, yeah, actually, great. yeah, I'll tell you what, I can give you. Um, it's made me beautiful again. I can give you back your whiskers. So oh. I heal, I heal. Brian for five hit points. Oh, okay. So at least you're at least you're at a nice even one hundred. <laughs> you're still and scarred, you get... but you got your whiskers back. Yeah, your well, whiskers grow back. That's all. Right. I get my head through little gaps now. That's great. And you got baby whiskers. They're not full grown. Oh no, little baby. Little baby whiskers. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> okay, as you're all doing a group huddle. Uh, the um, okay. Sorry, the human not. manages to drag himself out from the top of the pit. Gets nice. his legs over, <laughs> rolls that into the floor, and slowly picking himself up out of the mud. And then sees you all doing a huddle, and just walks off. Oh, and cheers! Yeah. You're welcome. No, no one did anything, so he's walked off. It's polite to say thank you, you know. <laughs> he did, Danny. Right, did everybody do the raise the hit points by five, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just just before we move on, because I want to make sure that everybody's got at least a little bit back. She'll uh, tell the human to get out of here, get to safety. If you want to. <laughs> say it. If you want to say it, you say it. You, you, yeah. don't, you don't need to, to, to ask the team for permission if you want to do something. Okay. Yes, she will say that. <laughs> so from the from the you see him walking off, and he kind of looks back and he kind of gives you a very sol solemn nod. Uh, you okay. see him picking across some of the, the dead bodies. He picks himself up uh, some arrows and a short bow and puts them over his shoulder. And just you see him just walk off into the woods. Bye. <laughs> Well, you seem like an awfully nice chap. It's not very talkative. Would you be? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, what's yes. in this cave? Okay. Um, Can I interrogate this lizard yet? Have you? <laughs> you tell me what you want to do. Um, I'd like to get some information out of this small dragon. Um, is that some sort of intimidation check? You can you can definitely intimidate. Yes, you are yes. a giant lion. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm figuring. And he's a small, well, basically a newt with teeth. Yep. So, so I'm assisting uh, with this. Okay. Yeah. Because oh, the don't snake get me wrong. Is, you're very frightening as well. Don't worry. No, no. I'm just saying that snake is dead right next to him, and so when we're both on him, I'm literally going to be trying to milk it for venom, while <laughs> giving him the you know. Full on evils. To, I'm oh, okay. by the little snotling. We're, so, we're a couple of cards, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Do I have to roll for intimidation, Dave, to see what he knows? Uh, go, go ahead. You roll your intimidation. 
Okay, there we are. We have uh, 22. Okay. What You're just you scared like to, to death. <laughs> but, <laughs> Don't worry, no cobalt CPL. Oh. <laughs> so he's actually had a full on heart attack. No, go on. He's, he, you, you've, in, uh, you've intimidated him. You are a success. Okay. What, I, I just, uh, because I, I don't actually know what he knows, I'm just going to say, speak. I can speak. Hmm. Yeah, I can <laughs> speak. <laughs> what is in that cave? Lots of things. Could we be more specific, please? We don't have very much time. No, uh, more intimidatingly. What? See, there you go. I'm queen. <laughs> Queen. Queen. Okay. Uh, Hogan. Where is it, bro? Queen's in the cave. How many guards has she got? How big is uh, the cave? I'll ask. <laughs> How many caves are there? Lots of caves. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, Lots hang on. Hang on. You're confusing me. You're confusing me. Let me write it down. Okay. Big guards. Oh. Big cave. Big, guards. big guards, big, big cave, big guards. Uh, Hogan, big everything, Hogan, big. H how many, big. John? How many? How many? Many. Lots as many. Many. One, two, three, lots. That's all I got. Come on. Yes, how many? More. More? More? More than three? Yeah, lots. Oh, good. Could somebody get over here, please? Adele? So this cardboard is tough, but very dumb. Mm hmm. Big and many, Hogan. Yes. Mm. What's the, when we go in the cave? Which way is the queen's chamber? Uh, Left, right, or straight on? Where? In cave. <laughs> where <laughs> from entrance? There. Where? Uh, Holding wall. God, my whiskers are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Is the queen in cave? In cave where? Behind you. Maybe in cave. you can take us there. I uh, point do I know, can I put him in a headlock or something and take him to some more articulate people? He'd be another thing that we potentially have to fight against, though, wouldn't he? Him in the pit, Brian. Yeah, ah. stick him in the pit. Oh, no, can I do that? Not the pit. How do I do that? Threaten him with the pit? No, just throw him just in it. Just drop him. I just chuck him in yeah. it. Can I do it from here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Can I try and like Kobe him from? No, because it's got the bloody thing over it, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I was going to say we better pull up anything we put down to help that guy. All right. If if we've got everything we can out of him, can I just like rip him open like a bag of crisps or what are we, we going to do? Because <laughs> he's annoying me now. Prawn cocktail. <laughs> yeah. just... I'd rather pull the rope out of the pit and you post up him from 30 yards. <laughs> yeah, go on. But it's your choice. Right. How do we do that? How, how do we do Steve's so Just thing? If you want to, what are you doing? Just just say it. You've got to roll it. I, just say what you're doing. Okay, I am going to... What were we doing, Steve? What was that? I think you should have three-point rim from, from range. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and at range him into that pit from where I'm standing. Let's do... Um... Let's, let's do. Well, let's just do a basic strength check. Let's just see if you can get him over there first. Okay. Go on. Go on. Uh, nine. Okay. Uh. So you pick him up. You launch him. He sails through the air, but then smacks into the side of the pit. Oops. Oh. Doesn't doesn't go in. He's, you rimmed it. <laughs> it just seems to kind of crumble. It's a rim job. Yeah. Oh. He, he only had one hit point. So you, no, yeah, so close. you shouldn't have snapped. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go. All right. No great well, loss. We we know there's a queen in the cave of presumably some sort of big kobold. We'll uh, we'll chalk down the interrogation techniques for a future training course. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry, boss. I did my best, but they were so confusing. Okay. Go towards the entrance, Dave. Going towards the entrance. Does okay. anyone need light? Does anyone can't see in the dark? I can see in the dark. 
I can see in the dark. I can see in the dark. My sword emits light. And also, Dave, did I manage with any venom? Um, yes and no. So while all this was going on, Hadil was trying to uh, milk a snake for some venom, not realising that they are technically a fire elemental snake, so not exactly poison, and you take three points of burning damage. Oh. But you try... I am actually you know. resistant to fire. So. You take one point of damage. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, we didn't be like. Um, did I discover the lava by the um, in the tenty thing? Mm -hmm. Would I be able to possibly get a small buckety thing, or is there something like a crucible or something <coughs> I could put some into and carry with me? Okay, so you go over to the um, and very carefully because of the post smoke everyone's told me about and warned me about. So, because yep. actually, if I could get some sample of something in there that's poisonous, like possibly the smoke. Yep. So I'm going to say, um, well, how do you want to do it? You want to hold your breath? I um, could hold my breath. Um, I mean, because there's plumes of this smoke, isn't there, and yep. wafting around. So I could hold my breath and go in there and even just use a vial to capture even some of this gas okay. into a vial. Hold, hold your breath and then go into the smoke and then tell me what you're going to do. I'm going to use uh, one of my vials from my poisonous set. Yeah. To literally scoop in, scoop some gas into a vial, and then uh, close the vial and get the hell out of there so I can breathe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say no. You don't manage to capture any of the gas. Yep. I'm still gonna make you roll a, a Constitution save. Oof. <sighs> Nine. Oh, no, it's a 12. A 12 in total. Um, no, I'll, I'll leave that. That's a pass. That's fine. Um, you feel a bit wobbly, a bit weak on your knees. Well, no, but work out what it is or get a sample. Damn. Exactly. But you're not able to do anything. Um, you're not, And you're not able to get the lava itself because it's, it's lava. So it's just going to burn for anything you, you put near it. No, that's why I was just seeing if there was something that it was being stored in, you know, if it was in a crucible or something that I could possibly... Damn, okay, no worries. Okay. So you will make your way over to the cavern opening? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, marching order. So... Uh, is it wide enough for two or one only? It is six foot... Uh, it is six foot wide and eight foot tall. It is a, okay. it's a gash in the rock cliff face, and it seems to be leading down into the darkness. Okay, um, Annie, if if you're behind one of the larger members of the group, are you able to shoot past them? Yes. Okay, all right, so um, me and you can take up the rear, and we'll put Thoron at the front, Leading, you, you've got a, have you got a shield? Is it great, great sword? I've got a great sword, but I can switch out to my shield and long sword if you want. Might, might be uh, an idea. Yeah. To put the shield <clears> on just in case. We Happy to do it. that. I haven't had the shield out for a while since I polished it. Yeah. <laughs> so Thoron, okay. then Brion, then Hadil, and then uh, Annie and myself will take up the rear. Okay. The change of my So feet. Thorin, you're the first one to see this, so I'll describe it to you. Um, it is a long, sandy tunnel, which leans, uh, leads just... You can feel it as a, an incline heading down. Mm. So it's an incline going down, chaps. I think we're going down. Yep. And as it kind <laughs> of... Uh, it, it goes into the darkness, but you can see in the dark. Uh, it turns... Uh, a sharp corner and in the distance only about 50 60 feet away you can see uh, what appears to be a cavern uh, you can only see a bit of it through the opening but uh, there is torchlight ahead right 
think we're coming up to maybe the either the first or main cavern where there's going to be more gold bolts and other things that want killing. So be on guard. Bring it. Bring it. Should we sort of try and get a peek inside the cavern without raising an alarm type thing? If you can, if you can get a, a look see into the cavern, see if there's anything in there. If it's empty, then you break left when you go out into the cavern. Brion, you break right, um, and then the rest of us will just uh, enter into the middle. Okay. And and now that you're in the cavern, you're just you know that white noise and all that rain and drenched. You're just you're you're wet all through, but at least there's no more rain. Well, I flick my hair in a sort of L'Oreal advert type thing, you know, and it just goes <laughs> almost <laughs> slow motion. And then all of a sudden it's dry. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, you're leading on into the yeah. cabin? Yeah, uh, could we stick into the plan that you just said, Steve, so I'll cut left? Yeah, if, if there's nowhere else in there. Yeah, can we see anyone inside the cabin? Yeah, well, let's find out. The passageway opens into a large cave. The roof of this cave stretches up into the darkness, well over 20 foot tall, uh, 20 foot high. There's a few torches, seem to be, um, they, they're gutted in improvised sconces, which are dry, uh, jammed into the wall around this cavern, almost circular in shape. Um, there's plenty of light in this cavern, so you can see everything that's kind of going on. However, the room does appear to be occupied by two of those uh, mounted fire snakes. Oh, it's them bugs again. You also see some more kobolds in there as well. Oh, I'm gonna run out of whiskers. <laughs> You're always thinking we your stomach, Brian. <laughs> food, glorious food. Okay, so I will uh, swap the scenes around so we can have a better look at everything. If you're watching this live, I apologize. If you're watching this recording, I apologize. I'm just going to switch this um, around. Here we go. So whereabouts have we come in on that map, though? So you are going to come in on the far left. Left. So you will start here. That is the right. entrance. Okay, what what do the kobolds and people appear to be doing? Are they just sort of milling around? Um, at the moment, yes. There's obviously some kind of commotion going on. Uh, they seem to be running around trying to get organised as best they can. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What do you wish to do? You're going to be first, so we'll, we'll start with you. Yeah, I'll just stick to that wall and try not to make any noise, but I won't go any further into the cave yet until the other guys have sort of come through. So I'll go through one square on the left there. Okay, so you're going to kind of step in. Open try, it, yeah? yeah, and try and be quiet as much as I can. Cool. Right. So as you step in you see as you know your eyes adjust to the torch and everything else and you can see it in low light anyway but you start to see that there are strange markings they're scrawled all over the walls in what appears to be um like thick paint some of the markings are um indecipherable they don't seem to be any particular kind of language um, but some of them have pictures Ooh. You can see what appears to be uh, kobolds and dragons. And there's also, if anyone speaks draconic, you can also see uh, dr draconic yeah. symbols and things. Well, they do I'm going to say, but he's yes, yes. Yeah. I think he can speak okay. draconic. So Annie can speak draconic. Yep. Yep. And Thorin? No, I can't. No. I, okay. I speak uh, abyssal, celestial, common, and infernal. So when the draconic speakers and readers can get into the room, you can you'll be able to see what it says. I will be um, whisper gesturing them to come in. 
and say, and I'll be giving the signal for, like, you know, cobalt. Four cobalt. No, five, five six. Five, six. Six. Six cobalt. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative, please. But we will st we will start oh, with yeah. Thorin. Regardless of his initiatives. Well, good, because <sighs> it was only 12. Where were you earlier? <laughs> no, don't we roll all the good ones for initiative. Save them for attacks. <laughs> oh, uh, we are using the D and D Beyond Initiative Tracker as well. Uh, sorry, Initiative Tracker Encounters, just to uh, mix things up a bit. Uh, Hogan, what did you get? Eight. Ah, uh, good eight. Any. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, Hadil. 22. 22, well done. And Thorin, you got 12. 12! Okay. But I'm having a sort of free go, am I? Um, I yeah, I just made a boo boo, so I'm going to redo it again. <laughs> a boo boo! Made a boo boo. Right, can you just call out your. Um, 12! Your so Thorin, 12. Hadil, 12! 22. Annie, 21. Hogan. 8. 8. Brion. 19. 19. We've got some good numbers in here. Uh, let's do that. And there we go. That worked. Okay, so we're going to start with Thorin in initiative order. And then we're going to continue from there and go round, okay? Yeah, right. Um, Thoron is going to. Actually, we won't. We'll, we'll, do, we'll start with Thoron, but then we'll start at the top. So go. Come. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I think it's gonna work, but. Nor do I. But let's have some fun and find let's, out. Let's try it anyway. I'm gonna attempt to distract all of the kobolds in the room by picking up a stone, casting light onto it because I've got that as a cantrip. And then hurling it through the middle of them all at the other at the opposite end. Okay. So in a hope that they're all going to turn around and, um, you know, when they see it, hit the wall or the door or whatever's on the other side of me, yep. the opposite the wall to me, um, and hopefully they'll get distracted and we can kind of almost get a free turn, as it were. Okay. So I will do that. Um, do you want me to do some sort of ranged attack to just see if it goes where I uh, want it to go? Luke, you can do that. What I will do is for the uh, kobolds, uh, one, two, three, four, is we will roll an intelligence check. Uh, 14. Um, so I'm going to say they pass. So as you well, throw... The, I was going to say the, the actual um, spell does have a DC saving throw. I'll go ahead then. It, it's 15. Okay, so they failed. So we do it as a group that all the um, uh, kobolds, let's do uh, Let's do the snakes as well, just to be fair. The snakes! I was going to see if they were actually more intelligent. Uh, badger, badger. Oh, but they're not. <laughs> so everyone, oh, as the snake. stone goes click, click clackling along through this chamber, they, everyone just like, what's that? And completely take their eyes off the entrance and whatever they were doing, it's just locked on to this glowing stone as you throw it into the room. Awesome. Like, ooh, so, shiny. Nice bag. Um, I'm going to assume that I only had an action as a free thing because yeah. I was the first person to go because I don't think it would be fair if I also had a move. So that is that is my initial surprise thing over, yeah. as it were. So, Hadil, over to you. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm coming in from there. The kobold nearest to us is now turned and facing the opposite way, isn't he? Yes. Along with everybody else. They are looking over here. Yep. And you have just stepped in here. So, I Excuse am going to go straight up behind our little kobold friend. Because he's, he's not looking behind him. That's never a good thing you to do when there's an assassin up. about. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go right up behind him. And I am going to attack. And of course, he has made no attacks. He hasn't basically taken any turn in combat. I get advantage. Yep, he doesn't even know you're there. Yep, he is going to have a very bad day, so... Go sad in a way. 
Let's just have a nineteen and a twenty-two. A twenty-two. Oh, nice. I mean... nice. Excellent. <laughs> so let's start off with Mr. Sword. Gets a seven. Mr. Sword. Okay, so... Here, God, yours, good name. I just, yeah, Mr. Sword thingy. Yeah. Okay. So and then obviously again, hit with the sneak not, attack as well. He's not looking at you. He doesn't know you're there. And, and the sneak attack is the for a 17. The back of his head. <laughs> so I've just overkilled then. Yes. Oh, mate, he's so <laughs> Finally, I've killed one. <laughs> Sorry. Put it in your kill log. Put it in the kill log. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm is there a kill log? I'm yeah, still winning. <laughs> not in the I'm still beyond. winning. Got pen and paper. Just, just make a note of it. Oh, damn, I was hoping there'd be something beyond that. I have pen and paper. There should be. There should be something D&D beyond. That'll um, be for something they add. <laughs> so after absolutely butting as my uh, take care of my bonus cunning action, and I'm going to hide. There is nowhere to hide. If I move back, surely, towards the... You can move back into in. the entrance, but you'll be blocking it for everyone else. Okay. Um, you could stand behind me. Sort of, or beside me. You can you can kind of stand there-ish. So as long as everyone else, is, as long as I will be basically just, you know, getting back, <laughs> backing up a little bit to give myself a fighting chance, or at least stand next to the person that has going to give me a fighting chance. So yeah, yep. stand in next to it. That'll do. Okay, okay. So Annie, you are up. Uh, so I can come in and. Fire at something. You can mm -hmm. step in. You step into the room. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so when I see all of these. I will go ahead and fire at the cobalt that is on the left. Like Sorry, when you're coming in. Yeah, that one. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Go ahead. Aim and fire. Eleven? You missed. Oh, fuck. The uh, crossbow <laughs> flies flies past it, smacks into um, the rock with a little bit of a spark, and those two guys are like, huh? and then they realise that everyone's in, and they shout, "Intruders!" Which gets everyone's attention. They all start looking huh? over to where you are and snarling. That's no. what do, man. They snarl. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Annie, is that your turn? Yeah, I need to get out of the way. So, uh, go. I'm gonna get back out of the cave <laughs> so so that Hogan can come in and Brian can come in, right, and I'm not there. in the middle. Huh? You gonna step there? No. <laughs> Out. You can't go. It's a tunnel. You'll be blocking the tunnel. They're behind you. Oh, so there's no way for us to go past each other you in have, there? No. You have to. Oh, okay. Forward. Okay. And what do I see, since I do speak Draconic, what do I see okay. in the room? So, uh, you take, so you take, you know, you just take a moment to see what the um, scripts around the room are actually saying. You realize that there's words and things. And it seems to be some kind of prophecy about return returning to the time of the dragons that it is the right of the dragons the, the great lizards shall rule and it just seems to be repeated every now and then so I think it just says Hadil rules <laughs> all done Brian, you're up. All right. So, Hogan, if I'm recording this correctly, you asked me to go in and bank right. That's correct. Okay. Can I do that, Dave, please? As okay. far as I can go in and right. Okay. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can go straight right. up to a snake. Can I smack it as hard as I can in you the can. face with a mess? Go for All it. All right. Let's do it. We're going to swing the morning star. Seven. Uh, does a thirteen hit? It does not hit. 
Yikes. Okay. Uh, I get a second swing. If you get two attacks, you can have a second swing. All right. We're going to do a second swing and hopefully it will connect with Snake Face. Let's go. Hey, Snake Face. Gets me some Snake Face. And a second miss. Oh, oh no. Swing manages to move You're drunk. and bob and weave and bob and weave. Oh, um, it's like it's a snake or something. It is. Oh, it's like it's unbelievable. Good. Brown's like, stay still. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just duck, 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 duck. Okay. Uh, what a waste. Okay, so I get to go now. Right, so. Beep. 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 5, 10. Hello, little 15, cobalt. 5, oh, oh, no. There we go. Now it's a party. Oh. Go. <laughs> I don't like this party. Right. Not to kill on these snakes now. So let's have a look. We are going to go. The little guy is going to attack uh, Brion. Um, Bring it. Yeah. Uh, and what was that thing of being within how many feet of you, Thorin? Uh, if, if anyone within 10 feet of me has plus four to all saving throws and cannot be charmed. Um, that's, a, that's, that's a good thing because I just remembered I have uh, advantage. Damn. I have pack tactics whenever I'm next to another cobalt. So that's... Pick hacky tactics. 16 is bang on my armor class. Okay. Here we oh, go. Oh, Three points of damage. <laughs> oh. oh no. I'll put three points of damage on, but I won't enjoy it. Yeah. And then the snake there is gonna go. get a go at you as well. The snake gets two attacks. So this is the bite and then the tail whip. Okay, so it goes in for a bite first. Oh, 13 is a miss. Then it yep. whips its tail around. Oh, I think this is gonna be another miss. Is it 11? That manages to miss as well. Then we're back Good. to... So we're just <laughs> flailing at each other, are we? No one's hitting anyone. Then we're back to Thorin. It's those cat reflexes. <laughs> it's like they're going... <laughs> Snake versus cat. <laughs> Sorry, who's going? Yours. Oh, my go! Ha ha! Right, so I'm going to attack this little gold bulb that's in front of me and say, Hey! Hello, chap! You're next! You're going for the little one. Go ahead. Yeah. Just the small one, uh, and if you remember, I had my shield and long sword out this time. Go so, ooh, that's, that's a good one. It's Twenty-two. A yes, it hits. Of course, it does. Boom, boom for five damage. Oh yes. Okay. Boom. However, you want to dispatch it. It is. But yeah. Dead. It, I, I just, I just do a sort of backhanded flick with the with the blade like that. And and he's, it goes straight through his neck, and for a split second, it looks like nothing's happened, and then his head just slides off his body <laughs> and hits the floor, and and then I turn my attentions to the snaky person, go for it, with my second attack, and I attack with the long sword again. Oh god! <laughs> Ooh, twenty-five to hit. It does hit. Strange that. <sighs> And that does 10 damage. 10 points of damage. It's a good hit. Yes. It is not enough to kill it, but it is it's okay. hurt. It is and hurt. that is my go over. Oh, no, actually, I'll, I'll step round uh, to the other side of it. So I won't leave its threat area, but I'll yep. step round so that I'm opposite to um, whoever's mini that is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not at the point yet where I'm recognising names to minis. Like... Okay. That is Hadil, isn't it? It is Hadil. Right. Great, you just did what I did, hit the snake and ran. Yep. Oh, no, no, I'm, you're still within 10 feet of me. No, no, but you're on the other side of the snake. I can't see you, mate. <laughs> right, my go, the little guy in the middle. He's going to take a swing at Annie. Are you ready, Annie? Baby. Okay, here we go. Boom. Uh, it's a nice oh, it's misses. a miss. He's getting nervous, the poor little thing. Oh uh, next He's up, got stage fright. Yeah. Oh, that's what we can do. <laughs> you can see him shaking in his boots. Hogan. You can come back to the tunnel now. Yeah, so with my 
bonus action, I'd like to cast Zephyr Strike. Yep. Ooh. Um, I will then come out of the tunnel between the kobold and the snake. Uh, and I would like to come out into the centre of the room, please. Uh, a bit further, so another ten feet. Thank you. Um, I would then like to take my my three attacks in the first round of combat, uh, and I'm going to target the uh, kobold in front of Annie. Okay, go for it. With my first longbow shot. Uh, so that's a seventeen to hit. Ooh, that nice. Hits. And that will do. Is, is, is uh, his redemption? Four points of damage. No, it's not. <laughs> oh no! I've, I've got a funny feeling they've got five hit points. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they do. Um, <laughs> you sink the arrow into his back, but he staggers, almost falls on top of uh, and or into Annie's legs, um, and you see this nasty arrow sticking out of his back. Annie. Uh, my next arrow Thank is going to go at the kobold in front of Brion. Hogan Thank has you. no honour. It's a shot. Uh, that is a Naturel 20. Well yeah. Done. yeah! My man. Oh, Naturel. Uh, so that is a 15 points of damage. Oh, this, this is nice. a Kobold attacking Brion. This is a Kobold attacking Brion. Not anymore, is it? Well. <laughs> pinned him to the wall, did you? You just, yes. you just saw his mouth erupt with this arrow come out of it. Uh, that's it. Uh, and and my last arrow is going to go into the kobold that's riding the snake between um, Hadil and uh, Thorin. Okay. So I'm targeting the kobold, not snake. Uh, and that is yep, a nine and goodbye bowstring. So was it a natural oh, one? Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> the, the, yeah, I mean, the, you thought it was going to work, but these cobble strings just not. They're just. They were gonna... It's made out of face. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. Right, then it's the cobbles go. You shot him in the back. He's, he fell into uh, Annie, so he's going to take an attack on that one. Um, I think. Oh, I know what. I mixed them up, sorry, but we're going to do it anyway. Can I just shove my rapier into him since he's uh, no, falling no. onto me? Because he's got, uh, he's got, he's hit you for a twenty. I'm assuming that hits. But he already tried he to already hit me. Hit, yeah. yeah, he'd yeah, already. No, I've mixed them up, so we're just going to go with it. That's what I said. So <laughs> we're getting close to midnight, and we need to uh, speed things up. So <laughs> seven points of damage, Annie. Okay. Sorry, if I'd known the end gone, I would have shot him again. Um, <laughs> I was tracking the initiative. So we have the uh, snake facing Hadil. This is a bite and a swing. A bite first is a miss. Goes for That's the tunnel. It's a oh. twelve and a miss. It's a miss. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> And we are back to the top of the round. Hadil, you've just survived two misses. I'm pissed. Swing and a miss, Snakey. Swing and a miss. My Don't turn. forget the snake's damaged. I, I damaged the snake. I it's think. about to be more damaged. I <laughs> seek revenge. <laughs> just tried to slap me, and I've even got whiskers to burn off. Oh, <laughs> don't rub it in that. <laughs> right then. Uh, Let's go for it. We're going to get straight in here and attack with a rapier. <laughs> I'm going in for the face. And that's a 22. It hits. Yay! And we're going to hit with the piercing damage, which is a set, which gives us a 10. And Yay! as I have a friend within five feet, let's go for some snickety sneak attack damage too. Snickety snick. And we get an extra 14 oh, for that. 14. So this gives us a total of 24. The snake do it. dies. It just, just it claps on itself. The kobold jumps off and lands on the floor. Ready to fight. Does he look sad that I've killed his pet? No, he doesn't. Damn. I'm going to make him cry. He's a bit red in the face. That's because of the blood. Ha <laughs> uh, ha uh, ha. Uh, Annie, you'll go. Yeah, I'll just hit the one in front of me with my rapier. Yeah, do him. 
Dirty 20. It's a dirty 20. <laughs> I don't even think you need to roll. It's got one hit point. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Wait, oh what, who's God. rolling what? Damage. Somebody's rolling something that's... Okay. Brion, not uh... your roll. <laughs> My roll, okay. I'm no, gonna no, 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 not your roll. Post. Not your roll. You rolled. Somehow you rolled. You rolled 9d12 or something. No, it's 2d12 plus 3d10. Oh, sorry, yeah, 2d12 plus 3d10. All right, so let's ignore that. That was the wrong <laughs> thing. Um, no. I'm going to roll to hit, if that's no, okay. No, no, Sean. No. Sean. No. no. Nearly, so, but not quite. Annie, it's still your go. <laughs> oh, okay. It's She's going to take her rapier, and instead of just, you know, skewer, uh, poking him, She's going to skewer through him and run forward. Oh, nice. Go ahead. It's a kobold kebab. Yes. <laughs> and she it. is running forward. Uh, probably to... I I feel like I'm pointing with my mouse and I realize I'm not actually pointing with my mouse. <laughs> like, I want to go right there. Uh, you want to run directly between... forward towards Hogan? Yeah, toward Hogan, but to the left of him, That's I think fine. it is. Go for yeah. It. So, I'm skewering this thing. Yeah. You got to roll to hit him. I already did. Uh, I've got. I, oh, I hit with a dirty 20, and I you told me I didn't need to roll damage, but I did anyway. You did roll damage. Uh, and then we had the Brion roll. We had a yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't paying attention, sorry, guys. Went dead. Then right, damage. So that one is that one and that one. Okay, you pick. And then up. I'm just gonna fling him against the wall. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> and it dies. Ooh. <gasps> okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, boom. Next up is Brion. Brion. You can now okay, smack, smack him up. I am going to try and shove this mace as far down the snake's throat as I can. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Hit. Mm -hmm. 19 to hit. 19 hits. All right, let's do some damage. Nine damage. Nine damage. Ooh. It Does it is... get past his mouth? It is still pumping. It is still alive. It does okay. not like you, though. Okay. Is it <laughs> gripping my mace as I've tried to stick it in his mouth? Now it is, because you gave me no idea. Yes. <laughs> right. Cool. So I'm going to try and launch the entire thing through the floor with all my lion strength, if okay. I may. While, it, while it's okay. holding on to this mace, you're going to fling it around. Poof. Yeah, I'm just going to try and wave it around like, uh, it. you know, like a little just flag or care. something. Right, let's go. Feeling like that's oh, I love this. Snake. Go. What have I got? Oh, that was a nap, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> right, let's kill this. I think snake. Damage, please. That's Does that enough. do it? That's enough. Take damage. Okay. And it's, it's doubled. <laughs> it's doubled. No, 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 it's doubled. It does it. Dear D Beyond does it for you. It rolls two D eight. Okay. Yeah. How, how do you want to finish this one? You, you can just. I want to launch it as far into the earth as I can. Into <laughs> the earth. You, you, you launch this thing, you spin it, and you hit the ground so hard it kills the kobold that was riding it as well. Oh, mate, that is so light. It's just a mangled mess of flesh <laughs> and bone and blood. The blood splatters up all over you, but because of your armor, it just slides off. And you're still. <laughs> so, well done. That's all I got. <laughs> the last thing to go for Cobol's mind was the rage fire snake spine. Mm. <laughs> uh, next up is me. My little Cobol's on his own. He's going to attack someone. Um, <laughs> me for killing his snake. <clears throat> he, oh, he's he's rolled a five. He's missed. <gasps> next up is I... Thorim. I do Thorin. love how the uh, only uh, things uh. left are the kobolds each time. Yeah. <laughs> Thorin's going to take a nice big swing at that uh, kobold that's in between him and Hadil. Yeah. 14? 14 hits. You're going for the home run? Yeah. That is 
four damage. It's still alive. And <laughs> second attack. Yep. Oh, it's going to miss. It's an eight. Missed. Still alive. He's the a tough little bugger like that one outside. He's above a... its head because it's now under its knees. It's gasping for air, but it's still alive. It's obviously related to that one that was outside. Could well be. <laughs> and that is my go over. Yeah, I will stay where I am. Right. Next up, who is still standing? Uh, that is that one. That one's dead. Let's make sure that is removed. Um, boom, boom, boom. Hogan. Okay, seeing as everybody's pretty much dealt with the enemies in front of them and there's only one cobalt left um, and Thorin and Hadil have definitely got that. I'm going to buck out into the next room. Ooh. Into the next room? Okay, so yep. when you was running forward earlier, you noticed that there was an opening right over here. Yeah. That's where I'm heading to. Okay. So this is... Uh, let me just double check so, it is. It I'm is. not going to go careening into the middle of the room. I will stop in the doorway and see. What <laughs> you <can> see. <laughs> no, that's fine. It is. Um, uh, sorry, it is a narrow corridor that kind of bends around the corner. So you're going to go in. It's a sandy uh, corridor. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I will go in and take a look around the corridor. Cool. Okay. Uh, do a perception check for me as you go in, because you can you can see in the dark. Uh, perception. Yes, I have. I have dark vision. Yes. Why the hell's perception? It's like towards it's the. It's on skills. Yeah, it's towards the bottom it's half it's, of the skills. It's stacked too wide, isn't it? As well. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, no, it, it looks like pretty much the same, like the entrance. Um, it's a sandy floor. It's a it's a narrow cave tunnel. It's leading around a corner to uh, some more torchlight, some more kind of glowing stuff in the next chamber. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get the distance for you. Hold on. Uh, Scouting ahead. I like that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's about 25 to 30 foot long in terms of it going like a slow curvy. <clears throat> okay, uh, I've I've moved 20 feet, I think. I've only got 10 feet of movement left, so I'm going to hold at the corner. I'm going to look back towards Annie and say, um, with me, I've, uh, I've broken my bow again. Um, <laughs> and I'll drop my bow this time and draw my short sword. Okay. So I don't think we're going to get time to repair it. Are you moving on, or are you just staying there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at the corner, so I've got a little bit of cover, and just keep an eye down the corridor, in case anything comes along. Okay. Right, and that is your turn. Ba, 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 ba. Adil. Hello. There is still a <laughs> cobble in front of you. Yeah, he is, as you've said, that he is actually coughing and spluttering. It is very apparent that he is brutally injured, correct? Correct. All right. Come on, Hadil, finish him! I'm going to go with it. I'm going to hit him with an unarmed strike. Oh. It's an 18 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Flick his Does forehead with your four finger. damage. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean down, I'm going to grab either side of his head, lean in and tell him, your god is a lie, and snap his neck. Literally took his head completely round. Very good. Like it. He is dead. Well done. <laughs> Pockets. <laughs> I might have just pocketed his head, which I've just removed. <laughs> might come in handy. Permission to add to inventory. Cobalt head. Fresh shot with shocked look on face. You can do if you, if you want to pocket a, a severed head, you can do that. That's fine. Yeah, impromptu puppet show. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh. Technically, you're outside of uh, initiative, so you're free to do whatever you like. What do you want to do? Very, very quickly search the kobolds' bodies. Okay, see what we've got. 
away direction from Hogan and my case. Okay, um, you do. So just having a quick search of the bodies and what's in this kind of uh, chamber, you find 75 gold pieces um, uh, or of discarded and slightly chewed jewellery. That's fabulous. Anybody want to pocket that for us? I think Hadil might be the banker in this group. He seems More. trustworthy. You seem yeah, trustworthy, yeah, Hadil. Yeah. I'm good with money, yeah. No yeah. worries. I, I found five this. gold pieces. Three. Nice. You found three gold pieces. <laughs> Sorry, you can't count, can you? No. Don't worry. I'll look after you. I look. You know, Thanks, got man. some great investments as well. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Uh, what was your role? Hadil, what was your role? Um, well, which one? Uh, your search. Did you roll for search? I didn't roll no, for no search. No, no one rolled for search. No. Uh, do you have I'm more than happy to. Yeah. Do a, what do you offer? Perception. Perception, perception, perception. It's in the skill box. Yeah, oh. don't worry. Um, oof, 17. 17. Okay, so as you're all kind of looking around, uh, searching for basically raiding the place, um, over here. Over where? <laughs> over there. You find what appears to be a concealed entrance to a second tunnel. With warm, warm air flowing. I found a thing. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> what does it smell like? Um, I'm going to say there is a slight sulfurish smell. Ever not so quite slight. as not quite as strong as what uh, nearly knocked me on my ass no. outside. No, okay. <laughs> I was just explaining this and said that speak. Yeah, and, uh, do a check. Oh no, no. <laughs> David, uh, Dave, I'll go to the entrance and just uh, signal to Hogan to come back a sec. Okay, you're going to go over here? Yeah. And I'll give him the signal. Give him the finger? No, no, it's just the sort of like come back, that's come back, but it's... I'll, I'll, I'll go back into the room. I will pick up a short bow, so I've got range weapon. And, yeah. Um, yeah. The deal's found something interesting, Hogan. Okay, let's, uh, should we open it up then? Yeah, I'm gonna grab my one bolt that I had fired and it tinned off the side of the wall. Ting! Um, I'm gonna say it broke. It, it hit solid rock. Okay. Speaking okay. from experience, arrows and bolts do actually break quite often when they hit solid things. How many? Oh, how many bolts do you have left? Uh, I'm trying to get back to my inventory. 17? Okay, okay, no okay. worries. 20 is nice. No, it you seems you're, you're okay. If you're lower, then I'll just give you some of mine. Uh, I would have thought that'd be quite all right, 17. I've got heavy crossbow bolts, but I don't think they'd go in your light crossbow. Are you opening up this? No, chamber? mine's a hand crossbow, so I don't. Yeah, think so it would. definitely wouldn't go. We are opening this up, aren't we? We are. Yes. I wander over and go and be like, "Hey guys, what are we doing? <laughs> opening doors, brown doors." Does it need? Does it require? Oh, does it require special opening? Uh, it doesn't. Doesn't uh, uh, require a special opening. No. Uh, Got to tickle it in the right place. I'll just hang out then. Yeah. So, uh, let's try and see if I can do this for you. There we go. It opens. Let's try and do that. It opens like a crawl space. <gasps> Not as bad as Die Hard, but thick, <laughs> thick aliens. So you can you can get in your on your knees. But that's about it. You remember aliens, and and they they blow the grenade. Yeah. Vasquez. 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 Right. Yeah. So that, Vasquez. You know, she's running down. Hey Vasquez, there. you ever get like mistaken for a man? Yeah. 
No, they're, did they're, you? They're running like that. They're all kind of like bent over knees in this in this kind of vent chamber thing. Mm. So, so that's about as it, much space as you got. Probably would need someone to scout it, wouldn't it? Because I don't think we all want to be piling into a vent. So what I used was, do you remember that vent in Aliens where they got killed? Yeah, the yeah, exactly. The head out and... <coughs> well, yeah. yeah, I can scout it if you want. I'm stealthy. I'm very no, stealthy. <laughs> so and I'm, I'm, I'm smaller than you two. I was going to say okay. probably. Now, yeah, this ladies point, first. At this point, we're gonna we're gonna just step out of the game. I am aware Ooh. it is ten past midnight for us, which means it's ten Blimey. past one for Jen. Mm. The way we're going, we'll probably be spending another hour doing this. So, do we want to pause the game here and we pick up yes. same time again tomorrow? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Yeah. Because yes, I don't mind. think Jen needs her sleep. Because otherwise okay. we'll be going on, and none of you are going to get back to, to about two. We got to do this again tomorrow, and Jen might be in bed till three. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody. Yeah. Especially seeing I'm as we're not. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Especially seeing as we're not in combat at the moment, so yeah. it's not. Seems like you know. a good time to hmm. sort of hold hold fire right, for the moment. So what... I unfortunately woke up at five o'clock this morning for whatever ungodly reason no so I'm I'm extra tired. so what we will do hold on there for a second um we will switch the views back around let's move that let's move this and we'll put that back over there there we go everyone's back in their places right so we will we will come back same badger time, same badger channel tomorrow to finish this off. Everybody agree? Yep. Yes. Okay. Let's so do we're it. We're going to do a part one. And part two. I did actually think you would do this in the full three hours, um, but we took a long time in the encampment, which was supposed to be really quick. I think got, you got five hit points. You're supposed that cobalt like, was <laughs> tough as hell. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, but Thank what you. I want to know is, me. how did everyone find that? This is. Basically, an epic encounter in a box. It is a TPK in a box. <laughs> and you got some, you're getting, well, what I like though is you're getting used to kind of, there are various hazards on the map built into the terrain. Then you don't know what they are until you get there. So I kind of like those elements. But from you as the players, <laughs> what do you think? I love and it. What, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I actually. Um, you described that there are hazards on the map that you discover as you get there. Yeah. Huh. It's um, it's nice to. That's not all, or any kind of. It's nice not to have to worry too much about the non combat -y bits, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it makes a, it's a refreshing change just to be expecting to get in a fight and then go somewhere and get another fight and then go somewhere and get in another fight, sort of thing. Is is refreshing. I, I'm I'm enjoying uh, more descriptions of the kills. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there is a lot um, of vicious ways you can dispatch someone. Um, yes. So, yeah. Just, just literally any movie moment you want to do, this is the time to reenact it. Um, yes, the whole tent <laughs> thing. I don't know if you know that was taken straight from Willow. Which one? Yeah, I thought I recognised Willow. That. No, what, what, what bit? The tent, ripping open the tent. Oh, and, and coming out. Yeah. Mad Mardigan. Yep. <gasps> He comes out of the tent after kissing Sorcha. Cool. Right. Yes. So it's about Kilmer when he's still in a human body. Yeah. <laughs> we we Very will be true. back again tomorrow, and until that time, we will see you. Uh, well, we we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you again in a few hours. Uh, yeah. Steve, you are, well, well. <laughs> Steve, tomorrow. Steve, start looking Thanks. for a raid. I'm going to run the trailer, and then the the uh, thank you screens. Right. See you all later. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. You have heard tell of a cobbled queen with visions of a world made new in fire and rage. Driven by prophecy, she has filled her followers with the raging passion of her cause. Now. 
You step forth into her burning realm. Dark shapes move among the rising embers. Thick-skinned beasts belch gouts of fire. It's an ambush! Roll for initiative. Battle is about to commence. Epic Encounters. Turn your RPG up to 11. <laughs> 